Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Hokage. My chat group through history. Chapter 61. Before he finished speaking, other tailed beasts came one after another. Three tails looks like a huge turtle. At this moment, it curls up its limbs into its hard shell and turns into a speeding wheel, roaring and crushing it. Eight tails immediately extended its tentacles to block it, and countless tentacles extended to block the roller transformed by three tails. However, the number of enemies was too great. As soon as three tails was stopped, seven tails Chome fluttered its wings and flew towards them. It spit out a large amount of phosphorus powder, and the sky was covered with clouds and fog. Not good. Killer B exclaimed, quickly shook off the clinging three tails, and then wrapped himself tightly with tentacles for strict protection. In the blink of an eye, phosphorus powder exploded in the sky. Boom. Even eight tails was not spared from the horrific explosion, and its body was covered with numerous scars. Naruto was safe and sound for the time being under the protection of eight tails, but seeing this scene, his heart was cut by a knife, and he knew that action must be taken. His mind was spinning rapidly, thinking of ways to crack it. Suddenly, his eyes were locked on the unmoving white mask. Uncle Bai. I have an idea. Naruto had an idea. If he wants to control the tailed beast, he will definitely consume a lot of chakra, and he must be distracted now. Throw me over, and capture the thief first. Naruto loudly informed Killer B of his plan. At this time, the explosion of phosphorus powder gradually dissipated, Killer B stretched out his body, and upon hearing Naruto's plan, he immediately agreed. Okay, leave this to me, Naruto, feel free to go. A thick tentacle picked up Naruto, and then threw it hard. Naruto shuttled through the tailed beasts like a meteor and went straight to the white mask. Are you here for me? White mask naturally noticed this change. He changed his seals and summoned Matabi and three tails to defend. However, Killer B could not make him achieve his wish. Eight tails attacked with all his strength and took the initiative to charge. The outstretched tentacles tightly locked the two tails and three tails. At the same time, they fought fiercely with other tailed beasts and started hand-to-hand -hand battles. There was no way he was going to let these tailed beasts get in Naruto's way. Rasengan. Naruto descended from the sky, filled with rage, and compressed a huge Rasengan. Sharp airflow cut through the air, and the white mask remained unmoved when facing the oncoming Rasengan. It wasn't until Naruto was almost in front of him that White Mask stopped forming seals, grabbed the Uchiha fan behind him, and held it across his chest. Uchiha bounces back. The huge Rasengan collided with Uuan fan suddenly. But there was no joy at all on Naruto's face, instead there was a look of shock. Because the fan actually absorbed all his attacks, the carefully prepared Rasengan shrank in an instant until it disappeared. Let you taste your own attack. The white mask snorted softly, and blazing flames suddenly erupted from the fan. It swallowed Naruto instantly, and the terrifying power immediately knocked him away. Uh huh. Naruto fell to the ground, in unbearable pain, and was covered in wounds, but these wounds healed at an astonishing speed, and when he stood up again, he was revived at full strength. Nine Tails Chakra. White mask narrowed his eyes. This is the power of Nine Tails. If he delays it any longer, the situation will be unfavorable to him. His peripheral vision swept across the battlefield of the tailed beasts. The out-of-control tailed beasts had slowly begun to lose control. Although they were still attacking Killer B, their movements were obviously sluggish, and they would probably stop completely soon. Looks like we need to move faster. With a flash of thought, White Mask suddenly picked up the fan and sprinted towards Naruto like an arrow. The tenacity in Naruto's bones should not be underestimated. Even if he suffered repeated setbacks, his eyes remained firm and fearless. The two sides instantly engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat, each displaying powerful physical skills. Every move and every move carries the power to shake mountains and rivers. The white mask waved the round fan, with the power to split Washin Mountain, and swung it down hard. However, Naruto locked his arms tightly, and he took the opportunity to fight back, vowing to take this opportunity to reverse the situation. Although Naruto's arms were forced to remain locked in order to restrain the white mask, this did not mean that he was helpless. Suddenly, a huge arm formed by Chakra flew out from behind Naruto, with a dazzling blue Rasengan spinning in its palm, and went straight towards the white mask. 
With the blessing of the Nine Tails Chakra, Naruto's body can extend the Nine Tails Chakra, and can generate chakra arms from his back for both offense and defense. Even the Rasengan can be controlled freely. Rasengan. Naruto tried to hold the fan tightly, intending to defeat the enemy in one fell swoop. However, in the blink of an eye, the fan strangely penetrated his palm. Likewise, his Rasengan seemed to hit the void, and the white masked figure disappeared like a phantom. No trace. It's that annoying virtualization ability again. Naruto frowned, his displeasure evident in his words. By virtue of the White Mosque's virtualization, even Naruto with Nine Tails Chakra mode turned on is difficult to reach, always avoiding fatal blows at critical moments. Just as the White Mask was approaching again using the Hollow, intending to end the battle, they were surprised to find that Naruto was motionless, like a statue waiting for the judgment of fate. This abnormal behavior was puzzling. Huh, bait. White Mask smiled contemptuously. Obviously, such an obvious trap can only explain the intervention of Kakashi and Metkai. Are you using Naruto as bait to launch a surprise attack when you regain your physical form? Just in time, everyone was here, and he was about to use that move. White Mask changed his mind and gave up the attack. As the space twisted, the figure teleported and disappeared. Almost at the moment he escaped, a flash of green lightning passed by, and Metkai's heavy fist landed with a crash, causing the earth to tremble, but unfortunately, only a piece of nothingness was left. Run away. Metkai's face was filled with astonishment. Later, Kakashi also appeared. It seems that our plan has been discovered. The two conspired to use Naruto as bait, hoping to catch White Mask off guard. Unexpectedly, the opponent's response speed was so frightening that he immediately escaped at the slightest mistake. At this time, the white mask stood on the high ground, condescending, looking at them with a disdainful attitude towards all things. Everything is here, just what I want. His calm tone revealed the confidence of capturing prey. Naruto couldn't help but feel a chill in his heart. Teacher Kakashi, Teacher Nongmei, what should we do now? Kakashi's eyes swept across the tailed beast battlefield. The six controlled tailed beasts were temporarily calm. Although eight tails was covered with bruises, they still maintained good combat effectiveness. Kai, Naruto, let's meet up with Mr. Hai first. The two followed Kakashi's instructions. After all, Killer B was the most powerful combat force on their side. The white mask watched its changes quietly, slowly forming seals. Spiritualism Ghetto Statue. As Bai Mosk's hands touched the ground, a huge creature suddenly rose behind him. The huge figure made the tailed beast look small in comparison. With the shock of the world changing color, the ghetto statue came to the world. The white mask stood on the head of the demon statue and formed the seal again. Ho ho ho. The next second, the manipulated demon statue looked up to the sky and roared, followed by a thunderous wrath. Astonishing pillars of lightning sprouted from the back of the golem. Under the command of White Mask, these thunder and lightning blasted towards the target like a punishment from heaven. Naruto, Kakashi, Metkai, Killer B, and even the six-tailed beasts, no one was spared. Rumble. Thunder and lightning poured down like a waterfall, and the whole world seemed to be submerged in a sea of thunder. The shocking thunder continued to echo among the lightning and flint. Faced with such a terrifying offensive, Killer B had no time to think too much and instinctively used his body to build a barrier for everyone, so that he could bear the terrifying impact from the golem alone. Fortunately, there were six other tailed beasts present to help him share some of the damage, otherwise he would have been seriously injured. The lightning gradually dissipated, revealing a piece of charred land, and the battlefield was devastated. All six tailed beasts were injured, and the eight tails transformed by Killer B lost their ability to fight. Uncle Bai, how are you? Naruto shouted anxiously. Ah, fortunately, I'll be fine after a while. That guy in the mask is really powerful. Killer B's voice responded weakly. Naruto was filled with a sense of powerlessness. Naruto, it seems we must join forces. At this time, nine tails inside Naruto made a sound. The situation is critical, and if it continues to be delayed, it will only be a matter of time before it is sealed. Ninetales no longer hesitates and decides to completely integrate with Naruto to fight against the powerful enemy. Kurama. You want to lend me your power. Don't hesitate, do it quickly. 
In the sealed space, Nine Tails fist bumped with Naruto, and the cell where Nine Tails had been imprisoned for decades opened the next moment. The power of Nine Tails can be unleashed. However, things went against expectations. At this moment, eight huge iron chains cut through the sky and roared towards them. The seven iron chains instantly locked the tailed beasts tightly and dragged them towards the giant mouth of the ghetto statue. These specially made chains had an irresistible suppressive power on the tailed beasts. Once restrained, all power would be sealed. Waiting there is only the fate of being devoured. In the blink of an eye, from tails two to eight tails, they were all devoured by the ghetto statue. Killer B, who had lost his tailed beast, collapsed on the ground, his breath weak. Uncle Bai. Naruto wanted to step forward to help, but an iron chain came straight towards him and wrapped tightly around him. At this moment, the chakra of nine tails merged with Naruto, and he became the perfect tailed beast Jinchuriki. But the arrival of this power has been a little slow. He has been imprisoned by the golem chain, and even the perfect tailed beast Jinchuriki cannot escape. Seeing Naruto being slowly dragged towards the golem by the chains, Metkai took resolute action. Eight Gates Dungia, Gate of Wonder. Open. A terrifying aura surged around him. Blue steam surrounded the surroundings, forming a strong sense of oppression. This is the last hurdle before the door to death, and it contains enough power to kill the enemy with one punch. Hitora. Metkai continuously threw heavy punches, condensing and compressing the air in front of him, and then suddenly released it. Roar. A lifelike blue tiger takes shape and pounces majestically towards the ghetto statue. All obstacles along the way, whether rocks or trees, are reduced to pieces in an instant. Metkai. My mosque's eyes became serious. This guy is the biggest uncertainty. If he is forced to open the gate of death, ghetto statue may even be damaged. No, the greater possibility is to be beaten to death. This guy is really a monster. Why is there such a powerful secret technique in the world? Driven by White Mosque's will, Ghetto Statue resisted the attack while accelerating to extract the power of nine tails from Naruto's body. Having just swallowed seven-tailed beasts, its power has expanded to a terrifying level. Boom. The day tiger roared like an angry lion and attacked, colliding hard with the ghetto statue, causing shock waves to spread in all directions. The ground beneath Kakashi's feet was shaking, and he barely managed to stand still. Did it succeed? Kakashi stared at ghetto statue, feeling anxious. However, when the dust settled, Kakashi's expression became extremely ugly as the golem remained unharmed. This level of attack is useless to it. At this time, Naruto was on the verge of being completely swallowed by the ghetto statue. Metkai did not show too much frustration. He stared at the golem with unwavering eyes, it's time. The climax of burning youth. Kakashi, I'm going to hold this guy back, and you go rescue Naruto quickly. Metkai's voice was calm, but it revealed his determination to make a major sacrifice. Hey. Kai. No problem, I'll take care of it. Kakashi was slightly startled, he understood that Metkai wanted to use the ultimate stunt. He could not dissuade them because they were in a desperate situation and had no choice. Eight Gates Dungia Formation, etc. Just when Metkai was about to burn his life in exchange for powerful power, Kakashi suddenly shouted to stop. The guy seemed to have stopped. Metkai looked confused and looked in the direction of Kakashi's finger. Ghetto statue actually stopped, while White Mask was lost in thought. Otsutsuki won style. Just before this, Shinomiya Yuzuki posted a new video and at him, saying it was crucial to White Mask. In desperation, Bai Mask took the time to watch this video. As the group owner said, this video means a lot to him. White Mask was surprised in his heart, Otsutsuki Ashiki. Besides Kegaya, are there other people in this world who came from outside the world? He also controls another ten tails. Thinking of this, Bai Mask couldn't help but feel scared. The other party is hidden too deeply. If it weren't for the video of the group leader, who would have expected that there is a Otsutsuki Ashiki hiding somewhere in the corner of the world? The enemy is in the dark, I am in the light. White Mask cannot imagine what kind of counterattack he will encounter if he lets down his guard after activating infinite Tsukuyomi. It's really troublesome. It seems like we have to get rid of him first. In desperation, White Mask took back the chains of Ghetto Statue and released Naruto. 
Although he could take away nine tails by force, he would have to face Metkai who had opened the gate of death, an opponent he did not want to face. And, Naruto Uzumaki may come in handy when fighting against Otsutsuki first style. Otsutsuki first style's BUF level taijutsu can defeat Sasuke's Suzano with just one kick. There is also the weird pupil technique, which can freely scale the size of objects and appear and disappear, which is not easy to deal with. If nothing can be done, Naruto may have to turn on the heavy particle mode to fight, so Naruto's nine tails must be left behind now. Let's use gold horn and silver horn instead of nine tails chakra. At least there will be one more eight tails than before. The power of 10 tails will be stronger. Although 8 tails was taken away, Killer B relied on the octopus legs left by 8 tails to survive after losing the tailed beast. That's it for now, wait until I'm resurrected and fused with 10 tails, and then I'll think about other things. White Mask lifted the psychic summons, the huge ghetto statue disappeared instantly, and he himself left through the time and space ninjutsu. Naruto and others on the battlefield stood stunned for a moment. Why? Why did he leave? Are we really saved? Naruto was still frightened. The irresistible golem lock just now almost made him think that he was going to be surrendered there. The shock was unforgettable. It's really baffling. It seems like he suddenly has more important things to do. What could be more urgent than collecting tailed beasts? There is something wrong with this, and there is most likely something wrong with it. Kakashi frowned, confused as to the true intention of the white mask. Then what should we do now? Metkai scratched his head. He originally thought that there would be a tough battle to fight today, and he was even mentally prepared to fight, but it ended up being nothing. Go and reinforce the main battlefield. What should we do over there, Uncle Bai? Naruto could feel that there was still a faint trace of tailed beast chakra left in Killer B's body, protecting him from a glimmer of survival, so he felt a little more at ease. In this case, Naruto, you take Mr. Hibi back to the headquarters, and Kai and I will go to reinforce the front line. Kakashi quickly made arrangements. Okay. Naruto nodded in agreement, picked up Killer B and disappeared in a few jumps. Kai, let's leave too. Time flies by like a flash, and in a blink of an eye, the day of the Ninja Academy's graduation exam quietly arrives. In Yuyu's house, Ino walked to Yuyu's room in a familiar way, and immediately caught a glimpse of the familiar figure curled up in the bed, immersed in a sweet dream. This guy, Ino sighed helplessly and slowly approached. If you don't get up, you will be the only unlucky child in this class of graduates who will not be able to graduate because of absenteeism. Seriously, if there is a past life, I think you must have been a squirrel in your last life to be able to sleep like this. Ino put her hands on the edge of the bed and stared at the sleepy Shinomiya Yuzuki teasingly. The sound woke up Yuyu from his deep sleep. He slowly opened his eyes, and what came into view was the pink and jade carved face. He smiled. You are wrong. In fact, I was an armed helicopter in my previous life. Yuyu rubbed her eyes and reluctantly got up from the bed. Huh. Ino froze on the spot, looking confused. Yuyu ignored Ino's confusion and went straight to the bathroom to start washing up. After a while, an energetic Yuyu came out. What is that armed helicopter you are talking about? Eno came over curiously to inquire. It is omnipotent from heaven to earth. It can make mountains and rivers shake with just one attack. It's very powerful. Eno opened her mouth slightly in surprise. It sounds so powerful, is it a tailed beast level? No, no, but the power is about the same. Okay, let's go. Yu Yu smiled and waved, and then went out with Eno. When we arrived at the Ninja Academy, it was already a bustling scene. It was so crowded that it was almost packed. What's going on? Why are they all stuck here? Shinomiya Yuyu was puzzled. Hey, I saw my dad, Uncle Shikaku and Uncle Dingza. Ino found a few familiar faces in the crowd. She looked over in surprise. They seemed to be talking to someone, but the crowd was too crowded and she couldn't see the details clearly. Let's go over and have a look. Yuyu greeted. As the two of them got closer, the almost fanatical shouting gradually became clear in their ears. Fourth Hokage. Fourth Hokage. Hearing this, Yu Yu's mouth twitched slightly, as if she realized something. It's not like Minato brought Naruto to school, but was recognized by an acquaintance, right? Unlike Senju Hashirama and Senju Tobarama, Minato's active years have not passed for too long. His acquaintances are all still alive. 
if they saw him, they would not be able to recognize him. At this time, Ino suddenly exclaimed, it's really the fourth Hokage. She pulled Shinomiya Yuzuki excitedly, like a little fan who saw her idol, it's definitely Minato Namikaze. Uncle Choza has photos with him at home. I will never admit it. Yu Yu, Yu Yu, have you seen it? Shinomiya Yu Yu was pulled away and looked over helplessly, only to see among the crowd. Namikaze Minato was all smiles, attracting everyone's enthusiastic following. Beside him, Nara Shikaku, Yamanaka Haichi, and Akamaiki Dingza surrounded him, talking passionately. Looking at Namikaze Minato who stood out the most among the crowd, standing out like a flock of chickens, Shinomiya Yuzuki was filled with emotions. Is this the legendary, little son? Its charm cannot be underestimated. Hey, that's not right. Wasn't the fourth generation sacrificed a long time ago? He died young in order to seal the demon fox during the Nine Tails Rebellion twelve years ago. Ino suddenly came back to her senses, full of shock. Perhaps there is some hidden meaning in this. Yu Yu said with a smile. Hidden story. It's not impossible. Maybe he didn't die that year, but was seriously injured. He has been recuperating these years. Ino held her chin in thought. But speaking of it, Yu Yu, why don't you look surprised at all? Ino turned to Shinomiya Yuzuki and found that she seemed extremely calm from beginning to end. That was the fourth Hokage. The name of Golden Flash was widely spread in the ninja world, and many people in Konoha worshipped him. Haha, when you reach my age, you will naturally understand. Shinomiya Yuyu smiled mysteriously. After saying that, Shinomiya Yuyu pushed aside the crowd and walked inside. Ino rolled her eyes and followed closely. She has long been accustomed to the strange words and witty remarks Yuyu often makes. Naruto. The noisy human voice is simply the best hypnosis song. Next to Namikaze Minato, Naruto, who had already started to feel sleepy, suddenly became excited when he heard this familiar voice, and his whole body was instantly energized. He turned around and saw that it was Shinomiya Yuyu waving to him. A smile spread across his face involuntarily, and he quickly ran forward. Yuyu. You finally arrived. I almost overslept, but luckily Ino reminded me. Where are the others, have they all gone in? Yu Yu looked around, and there was indeed no other classmate present except Naruto. Yes, yes, let's go in quickly, the assessment will begin soon. Naruto nodded quickly. Then what are you waiting for? Let's go. The three of them rushed into the school gate in a hurry. In the school, the graduation assessment is in full swing. Students line up and enter a room one by one. From time to time, you can see someone coming out with a sad face, while others are smiling. Shinomiya Yuzuki glanced over and saw that at the end of the team, Sasuke, Hinata, Sakura, Shikamaru, Choji and others were gathering together. Hey, why are you so far in the queue? Yu Yu stepped forward with a smile and greeted them. If I hadn't waited for you, I would have finished the exam long ago. Sasuke crossed his arms, with a look of helplessness in his eyes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Yu Yu happily put her arm on his shoulder. Yu Yu Kun. At this time, Sakura suddenly called out with her unique soft voice. This sudden sound gave Yu Yu inexplicable goosebumps. There are also traps in the ninja world. Which song is this? Why does Sakura suddenly look like a different person? He remembered that Sakura looked down on him very much in the past, but why has her attitude changed completely now? He looked back and forth between Sakura and Sasuke doubtfully, which made Sakura's temperament change drastically, and she couldn't find anyone other than Sasuke. He leaned close to Sasuke's ear and asked quietly, have you done any ideological work in private? Sasuke nodded lightly, I just said some words to ask her to get rid of some bad habits. Sasuke was deeply impressed by how annoying Sakura was back then. In the original time and space, not long after Team 7 was formed, she was able to criticize people for having no parents in front of Naruto. This incident also brought Sasuke and Kakashi along with her. He offended three people in the team with just one sentence, so he was really, powerful, with his words. But now the situation is completely different. Naruto's strength is not what it used to be. Coupled with the mysterious Shinomiya Yuzuki, in order to prevent Sakura from having trouble again one day, Sasuke did a little, little, to her in private training. Obviously, 
Sakura took what Sasuke said verbatim, and the change was quite big. At this time, Naruto and Ino also came over. Sakura also greeted her cheerfully. Naruto-kun, Ino, good morning. Um, good morning. Naruto was a little uncomfortable with Sakura's change. Hey, I feel like you've changed so much. Ino blinked and took Sakura's hand. Sakura smiled and replied, Sasuke said I'm more lovable like this. I think so too. Ino smiled. The team moved forward in an orderly manner, and soon it was Shinomiya Yuyu's turn. I'll go in first. After entering the door, several teachers were sitting opposite, presumably today's examiners. The person sitting among them was Aruka, and the person next to him was Mizuki who had secretly taken refuge in Orochimaru. I don't know if he will encourage Naruto to steal the sealed book this time, but it seems that the chance is slim. While Yuyu was observing the teachers, the teachers were also looking at him. Uruka glanced at Shinomiya Yuyu, and an imperceptible helplessness flashed across his face. Can this famously talented person in the class successfully pass the exam and graduate today? Yuyu did not mention it in class when he made a big fuss about the Hyuga family. Naturally, the Hyuga family would not publicize it everywhere, so the matter was only circulated in a small circle. In the eyes of outsiders, Yuyu is still a worryingly low-level person. Shinomiya Yuzuki-kun, you can start. Uruka announced, silently calculating in his mind that as long as Yuyu's performance was not too outrageous, he planned to let her go directly. Okay. Yuyu began to form seals slowly. The content of the assessment is very basic. Just three basic ninjutsu, clone technique, substitution technique and transformation technique. Not long after, Yuyu completed the seal, and in the blink of an eye, a clone that looked exactly like him appeared next to him. Then came the demonstration of the substitute and transformation techniques. Every movement was perfect and flawless. Pass. Pass. Uruka opened his mouth in surprise and announced Yuyu's results. What a heck. This kid, who everyone thinks is the weakest kid, actually got a perfect score. No matter how surprised Aruka was, Shinomiya Yuzuki had already walked out of the room leisurely. It's easy to do, Shinomiya Yuzuki said with a smile. It was Sasuke's turn next. He walked into the examination room with his trouser pockets inserted in a cool look, and within a minute, he strode out again. Obviously, he passed successfully. For Sasuke, such an assessment is just like playing. Now, with his rich practical experience, I am afraid that no one in Konoha can match him. Soon, the group of people passed the exam one after another, leaving only Naruto. I'm in. Naruto walked into the room with full confidence. Did you feel the ground shaking? Not long after Naruto entered, Sasuke suddenly said something. Earthquake. Others haven't reacted yet. The door to the room was suddenly pushed open from the inside. Following this, waves of Naruto poured out of the room like a tide. Everyone hurriedly fled, and soon the entire corridor was occupied by all kinds of Naruto's. Multiple shadow clone technique. Shinomiya Yuzuki's eyes widened. When did this kid learn this trick? Ah, it seems that this technique is not very easy to use. All Naruto scratched their heads in embarrassment. With a loud bang, all Naruto instantly turned into white mist and disappeared, leaving only the body with a sneer on his face, which was thrown out by Uruka by his collar. You pass. Shinomiya Yuyu walked over and helped Naruto up, then asked. When did you learn the multiple shadow clone technique? Facing Yuzuki's question, Naruto answered without thinking, my father taught me. In addition to this, he also taught me this ninjutsu. With that said, Naruto stretched out his hand, and chakra slowly gathered in his palm. After a while, with the harsh sound of wind, a blue Rasengan took shape. You can even master Rasengan, and it's only been a day. Your talent is really beyond question. Yu Yu sighed involuntarily. However, Minato's contribution should be part of this. As the founder of this technique, he taught him step by step carefully, so it's hard to imagine. Okay, don't stand here stupidly. Go back to the classroom. Classes will be divided soon. Sasuke reminded from the side. Then let's go. The group returned to the classroom. Soon, the students in the class were taken away one by one by their respective instructors Jonan. Everything is going according to plan, the eighth team led by Yuhi Kuranai, 
whose members include Hayuga Hanada, Inazuka Kiba and Abarame Shino. Lao Ma's Class 10 is a mysterious trio composed of Zuludi. Soon, only Sasuke, Naruto, Sakura and Yuzuki were left in the classroom. Is he really the one who appeared out of thin air? Sasuke secretly observed Yuyu and thought to himself. But Shinomiya Yuyu was thinking, why are there four people left? Is he going to replace a certain position in Team 7? Or will a Jonin mentor be specially arranged for him? Just as his thoughts were racing, Kakashi appeared. Well, I didn't keep you waiting long. After two days of recovery, Kakashi has regained his strength and was successfully discharged from the hospital. But for him, after being discharged from the hospital, he went back to work almost seamlessly without even a day's rest, which was indeed a bit miserable. Hey, are you our teacher? Naruto blinked his big eyes and asked curiously. Yes, come with me. Kakashi smiled. For the teacher's son, he was also honored to be his teacher. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura over there. Kakashi pointed his finger at the three people except Yu. The composition of class 7 also remains unchanged. Yu Yu, I'll withdraw first. Naruto grinned, turned around and followed Kakashi's back. Shinomiya Yuzuki secretly thought that she was going to enjoy one-on-one -on -one guidance from Jonin. I wonder who it could be. Could it be a super beauty? Just as the idea came up, several coughs suddenly sounded at the door. Yu Yu looked around and saw Sarutobi Hiruzen leisurely walking into the classroom with his pipe in his mouth. No. A hint of speechlessness flashed across Yu Yu's eyes, and she couldn't help but complain in her heart. Not only is she not a beauty, she is also an old man. If other Konoha villagers heard this, they would all roll their eyes. This is the famous professor Ninjutsu, the third Hokage. Being his student is an opportunity that many people dream of. Among the Jiraiya, Tsunade, and Orochimaru he trained, none of them are the top powerhouses in the ninja world. But it was here that Yu Yu was mercilessly disliked. Under Yu Yu's sizing gaze, Serutobi Hiruzen spoke with a hint of helplessness in his tone, it seems that you are not so welcoming to me. However, Yu Yu, with your ability, apart from me, there is really no other person in Konoha who can teach you. If you are not satisfied, I won't be able to find anyone who can replace me to guide you. It's not that I'm not dissatisfied, I'm just curious. As a Hokage, do you still have free time to teach your disciples? Of course, Yuyu would not say her dislike directly. It would be rude, so she asked for a different reason. Serutobi Hiruzen said with a smile, Well, there will always be time if you squeeze it. Moreover, your growth is much more important than those official documents. Serutobi Hiruzen is indeed an old fox with a superb speaking art. But Shinomiya Yuyu still shook her head. Forget it, I originally wanted to have a powerful Jonin lead me, show off in front of my teammates, and go out on missions to experience the life of a genin. Now it looks like I'd better stay in the village. He stood up and said goodbye. I won't bother you anymore, Master Hokage. I'd better go back and lie down. When passing by Serutobi Hiruzen, he waved. Serutobi Hiruzen smiled and took a sip from his pipe. This was good. Facing this god tier, he himself was muttering in his heart. Now everyone is really happy. On the other side, Shinomiya Yuyu walked out of the classroom and headed straight to the rooftop. Will Kakashi and the others play a game of grabbing the bell there? You should go and have a look. Quick, quick, send him to the hospital quickly. Unexpectedly, as soon as Yuyu arrived on the rooftop, she saw several medical ninjas passing by in a hurry carrying a stretcher. Kakashi on the stretcher had a hollow look in his eyes, a bruised nose and a swollen face, and was dying. He was still holding two bells tightly in his hands, obviously wanting to play a bell-grabbing game with Naruto and Sasuke, but unfortunately. His assessment of his disciples' strength seems to be a bit off. Yuyu looked forward and saw Naruto in perfect Jinchuriki state scratching his head in embarrassment. Sasuke covered his face at the side with a complicated look on his face and was speechless. My darling, this is only the first day, and you have sent your guide Jonin to the hospital. This is your first time in Konoha. Poor Kakashi. Kakashi, is he, okay? Shinomiya Yuyu looked at the figure being carried away, with a bit of uncertainty in her tone. Ahem, it should be fine. Naruto seemed a little embarrassed, but he didn't expect to blow Kakashi away with a casual punch. 
The force really shocked him. But I gave him some nine tails chakra, he should be able to recover soon. Naruto added sheepishly, trying to appease everyone's emotions. Yu Yu shook her head regretfully. Tisk, I originally wanted to watch you fight for the bell, but it was ruined now. What are your plans next? Without Jonan's guidance, you won't be able to take on the mission. He turned to Sasuke, his eyes sparkling with curiosity. Sasuke, do you have any ideas? In the current class 7, Sasuke is the only one who has some ideas in his heart. As for the other two. Well, the road to growth is still long. Sasuke turned his face sideways and locked eyes with Naruto. Naruto, you will train with me in the next few days. I will teach you how to perfectly control your power. Okay, it's up to you. Naruto nodded readily. Then, his eyes turned to Sakura. Seeing this, Sakura's eyes were filled with anticipation. What kind of tasks would Sasuke arrange for her? As for Sakura, I have also learned some medical ninjutsu and can teach you. This will be it for now until Kakashi Sensei recovers. Okay, Sasuke. Sakura nodded happily. In just a few seconds, Sasuke had already assigned tasks neatly and with amazing efficiency. My all round Sasuke, he can do a little bit of everything, so the money is really well spent. Now that you have made all arrangements, I feel relieved and will withdraw first. I came here early in the morning. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. I have to get a bowl of ramen quickly. Yu Yu waved her hands, turned and left. At the mention of ramen, Naruto's stomach growled unsatisfactorily. Yu Yu, I want to eat it too. He looked excited and wanted to follow immediately. But at this time, Sasuke grabbed him by the collar. Didn't you just finish eating? Don't go anywhere, train for me. Yu Yu couldn't help laughing, now Indra began to discipline Asura. After leaving the school, the crowd of onlookers at the door had already dispersed. It seemed that Minato had probably gone back. As Yuzuki walked through the streets of Konoha, the buzz about Namikaze Minato kept drifting through her ears. Have you heard? Our fourth Hokage is back. What? The fourth generation wasn't more than ten years ago. Sacrifice. Those are all illusions, used to confuse outsiders. He showed up at the Ninja Academy this morning. Many people saw it with their own eyes. He was not dead at all. Similar words are heard all the time. It seems that Minato's popularity is still as popular as it was back then. Soon, Yuyu came to Ichiraku Ramen, waved to Uncle Shota, and ordered a special ramen. At this moment, there was a stir in Union Village. What? Minato Namikaze. I saw a man with a bronze complexion and exuding extraordinary momentum suddenly stood up. His voice was loud and clear, even pedestrians on the street outside could hear it clearly. This person is none other than Rakage from Cloud Hidden Village. Fourth Rakage I. Rakage's face was filled with disbelief, and his eyes were locked on the intelligence ninja in front of him. Are you sure that Namikaze Minato appeared in Konoha alive? It's absolutely true, Lord Rakage. The intelligence ninja looked serious and spoke firmly. What's the source of the information? Are you sure it's accurate enough? Rakage stood up from behind the table and approached step by step. His burly body made his subordinates feel a heavy pressure. His bell-like eyes stared closely at the intelligence ninja, as if he might punch him at any time. The news has spread in Konoha. There are many people who have seen it with their own eyes. There is no way it is false. The intelligence ninja answered calmly, knowing in his heart that Rakage Sama's reaction was just an expression of surprise. Rakage values friendship and will never be rude to his subordinates. If that's true, this would be so bizarre. Did he not die back then? He just released false news to confuse the world. Rakage was puzzled by the information ninja's explanation. At that time, the Kumogakur village learned that the fourth Hokage had died in the Nine Tails Rebellion and believed that Konoha was in an unprecedented period of vulnerability, so it took the opportunity to form an alliance and attempted to kidnap members of the Hyuga family in order to gain near invincibility on the battlefield. Weapon, I roll. However, the operation fell short. The head of the Hyuga family saw through it, and the men he sent were killed on the spot. However, they used this as an excuse to launch an attack and demanded that the murderer be handed over. In fact, they had a solid basis for advancing and retreating. Even if they couldn't be caught, they would still make a lot of money if they could get the eyes of the head of the Hyuga family. In Konoha at that time, no one dared to say no, so they had no choice but to go with the flow. 
The murderer was indeed handed over, but who would have thought that the man was actually Hyuga Hiyashi's twin brother? They took him away without realizing it, only to find that the caged bird curse had been placed on the other person, and the white eyes could not be removed at all. An empty joy. And here's the weird thing about it. If Namikaze Minato was still alive, even if he was seriously injured, as long as he could show his face, Rakage could guarantee that those subordinates who came to provoke Konoha would be so scared that they wouldn't even have time to escape. Of course, he would not blame them, because he knew the weight of this old rival too well. The name of Golden Flash is well known in the ninja world. Rakage pondered for a moment. Even though he was a big-hearted person, his thoughts were very delicate. Who can become a film-level figure who is not thoughtful? After a long while, he turned around and said in a deep voice to the intelligence ninja, Look again, there is too little information. I need more specific information. This is related to our future strategy for Konoha and is very important. The intelligence ninja felt Rakage's caution and nodded solemnly, understood, Rakage Sama. After watching the intelligence ninja leave, Rakage no longer had any thoughts about dealing with government affairs. He jumped out of the window and went straight to Yunle Gorge. He wanted to talk to Killer B about this matter. Old man, you have to take a look at this. Kuritsuchi walked in with all her slender legs and a look of uncontrollable excitement. Although she is young, her long legs already show charming lines, slender and white. Onoki, who was writing at his desk and immersed in official duties, raised his eyes slightly. When he saw that the person who came was Kuritsuchi, he put down his pen and smiled at the corner of his mouth. What's the good news? You caught that Didera back. Kuritsuchi walked closer and happily threw down a piece of information. No, you can see for yourself. Onoki picked up the information, but when he saw the content, the smile on his face instantly froze. Minato Namikaze is resurrected. That's right, old man, are you surprised or not? Kuritsuchi grinned, triumphantly. Surprise. I think it's more of a shock than anything else. Onoki threw the information aside expressionlessly. Is this news reliable? Absolutely reliable, and it has spread in Konoha itself, and now the entire ninja world is probably aware of it. Kuritsuchi replied. Onoki stood up, rose slowly, and suspended in the air, his eyes were deep, and he was thinking about the changes in the future of the ninja world. The return of Namikaze Minato has undoubtedly given Konoha a hard blow. Konoha, which was originally supported by the aging Sarutobi Hiruzen, seemed to be likely to collapse at any time, but now the situation has reversed in an instant. After pondering for a moment, Onoki said, Don't worry about it, we are far away from Konoha, there is no point in rushing, just wait and see what happens. Kuritsuchi nodded, and then smiled mischievously, Old man, can I go to Konoha to see it? I heard that the golden flash is super handsome. Hearing this, Onoki froze. His child suddenly wanted to run to see a yellow-haired netizen, who was far away. I'm afraid not many parents could accept this feeling. His face immediately darkened, and he pointed at the black soil, full of anger, are you thinking about this? Have you learned the dust style? I have no talent. Grandpa, it's useless for you to force me. You might as well ask your senior brother to teach you. HMPH, if I knew where that kid was, I would have dragged him back long ago. Dust style is the village's specialty, ninjutsu, which is known as the most powerful attack power in the ninja world, but no one can master it. Onoki is worried about this every day. Didera, the only disciple with the talent to learn dust style, left the village to pursue some weird art. He is very old and once he passes away, dust style may be lost. Hey, what a coincidence, I just received intelligence and know where he is. Really? Say it quickly. A glimmer of light flashed in Onoki's eyes. He joined an organization called Akatsuki as a mercenary. They are all traitorous ninjas from various countries. He is also one of them, so he is suitable. What? Onoki was startled, and subconsciously straightened his waist, but unexpectedly it reached his waist. Ouch. Onoki covered his waist, angry and helpless, this brat. Akatsuki organization, what kind of place was that? It gathered a group of lunatics who worked hard for money. He had hired him several times, but he didn't expect Didera to go to that kind of place. I'm so mad. Such conversations were also quietly taking place in other major ninja villages. Every ninja who bears the name of Shadow, 
has a solemn look on his face. No matter which country, they all attach great importance to this matter. If the news is true, then the pattern of the ninja world will definitely be reshuffled. Meanwhile, in the land of rain, the masked man also learned the news from Baiju. Minato, sensei. He said the name he had not mentioned for many years bitterly. But after a moment of hesitation, the masked man's eyes became firm. No, he's already dead. He's just an imposter who came out of nowhere. But, it doesn't matter. After the world ends, who will care about this? Tang Country. As a famous holiday paradise in the ninja world, Yunokuni is not only home to countless beautiful scenery. It is also dotted with countless natural hot springs, attracting tourists from all over the world. At this moment, a burly man with long silver white hair hanging straight down his waist stepped out of a hot spring resort. There was a touch of bright red under his eyelids, and he exuded an unruly aura. When the woman guarding the door saw this, she quickly stood up, with a professional smile on her face, and greeted her diligently. She gently took the white-haired man's arm, with a bit of coquettishness in her tone. Oh, distinguished guest, are you satisfied with your experience? This man left a deep impression on her. He always winked at her every time he came and loved to do something to her whenever he got the chance. However, he does spend a lot of money, which makes it hard for people to really mind. The woman thought that she would inevitably be taken advantage of again this time, but unexpectedly, the white-haired man slowly withdrew his arm and nodded expressionlessly. Then he walked away without looking back, leaving behind a decisive figure. The woman looked at the figure that was getting further away and couldn't help but be slightly startled. Has this guy changed his gender? He didn't even touch it. What urgent matter was there that made him leave in such a hurry? Ha ha, Yu Yu, as expected, I found you. Just as Yuzuki was enjoying the hot ramen, the two brothers Senju Hashirama and Senju Toborama quietly appeared and came over with smiles. Hey, why are you two here? Do you want a bowl? It's my treat. Yu Yu smiled and greeted warmly. The ramen is free, we have already eaten. Yu Yu, I actually want to tell you that we are going back. Senju Hashirama gently stated the purpose of this trip. Hmm, are you leaving now? Don't you want to stay a little longer? No matter how long you stay here, once you go back, it will be like a blink of an eye at most. There is no need to rush. Sigong Yuyu was a little surprised and quickly tried to persuade her to stay. Senju Hashirama smiled and shook his head. No matter how beautiful this place is, it does not belong to our world after all. We have our own Konoha to protect. Furthermore, after learning so many new things, Toborama is already eager to try it out and wants to go back and practice it quickly. I believe that our village will make rapid progress in the near future. Yu Yu, you are welcome to be our guest in the future. Senju Hashirama laughed heartily. Okay, see you then. In this case, Yu Yu didn't force herself to stay, she smiled slightly and flicked her fingers lightly. Snap! Shout in the group if something happens. In an instant, the Senju brothers turned into wisps of clear light, traveled through the cracks in time and space, and returned to their time. After eating ramen, Yu Yu went straight home. He first contacted Minato privately and asked if he wanted to return. The answer was not to leave for the time being, Minato and Kashina planned to spend more time with Naruto. After all, no matter how long the time here is, it only takes a moment to return there. The same question was posed to Obito. The boy was enjoying himself and taking Nohara Rin around Konoha without returning home at all. Okay, then it's time to get down to business. Rubbing her hands together, Shinomiya Yuyu began tapping in front of the screen. Shinomiya Yuzuki, at six paths Madara at six paths Madara at six paths Madara at six paths Madara at six paths Madara. Yes, this is what is called business. Ever since Madara joined the group, she has been like a fish diving into the deep sea without uttering a word. But whether it's really busy or diving is unclear. After all, the time flow rate in each world is different, and this difference is random. It does not mean that whoever is closer to Yuyu's era will have time slow down. He had no idea how long the day on the other side of Madara would last here. However, there should always be time to take a quick look at the group messages, especially when the messages are dazzling right in front of your eyes and it is difficult to ignore them. Well, unless something happens to him. Bite. Group member detection. 
Six paths Madara has lost consciousness, whether to rescue. Confirm, cancel. What the hell? Yu Yu was so shocked that she could fit an egg into her mouth. This crow's mouth is open. As soon as the information came out, all members of the group showed up instantly. The most anxious one is Senju Hashirama. Although he is in different time and space, his concern for Madara is still the same. Senju Hashirama, what's going on? Yuzuki, Madara, what's wrong with him? Uchiha Obito, hey, this is wrong. Six paths Madara, the pinnacle of the ninja world, who can touch him? Namikaze Minato, could it be Otsutsuki Ashiki's work? White mask, humph, that old guy will have his day too. Uchiha Itachi, don't panic, everyone. Maybe it's not an unexpected incident. Is it possible that it's just the natural ending of the plot? Shinomiya Yuzuki, Itachi is right, it may be that Black Zetsu succeeded in the sneak attack, allowing Kegaya to revive in his body and suppressing his consciousness. It's the normal progression of the plot. Shinomiya Yuyu, Tisk, I really didn't expect that someone in our group would be ready to welcome the ending of the story so soon. I was also thinking that it might take a long time. Namikaze Minato, although the main plot has been settled, don't forget that there is still Otsutsuki Tonari on the moon. There is a story behind it, which can be regarded as a small branch plot. Senju Hashirama, hmm, it seems like we shouldn't discuss this. Should we consider how to win over that guy Madara now? According to the original story, Kegaya Yoruichi will fall, and Madara will also be separated from Ten Tails due to exhaustion of life force. In addition, when Kegaya is possessed, his soul will directly return to hell. It is quite difficult to revive him. Shinomiya Yuzuki, don't worry, saving Madara is not difficult at all. It's actually quite simple. Senju Hashirama, you you, you are indeed the king of ideas, can you tell me a little bit? Shinomiya Yuzuki, it's very simple. Just let Madara achieve six paths, right? No matter how much vitality is lost, once Ten Tails is reintegrated and reaches the Six Paths realm, the lost vitality will naturally return. As for the little trouble Kegaya left, it is not worth mentioning at all. Uchiha Obito, that's what I say, but how could Naruto and Sasuke do such a thing after defeating Kegaya? Resurrection of Madara, what are they trying to do? They have finally calmed down the chaos. How can they find a rival for themselves, not to mention that Sage of Six Paths is still watching? We won't let them mess around. White mask. Oh, it's rare for you little to be rational. That's right, they want the old man to be buried early, so why would they come to rescue him? Uchiha Obito, you little talking about me. White mask, what else? Uchiha Obito, well, it was the little talking about me. White mask, it's good that you have this self-awareness. Wait a minute, something doesn't seem right. Uchiha Itachi. How about we listen to the group leader's opinion first? Shinomiya Yuyu, you still understand me as a dozen Kazang, who stipulates that my plan must be carried out by Naruto and the others. As a member of our group, Madara naturally has to be rescued by us personally. Hey, I just have an idea. Uchiha Obito, put away your little schemes. Namikaze Minato. Obito, do you know who you are talking to now? Shinomiya Yuyu. Hey, boy, are you looking for a fight? Watch my giant dragon hit you. Uchiha Obito, don't rush to take action. I also have an idea. It's not too late to take action after hearing it. Shinomiya Yuyu, hey, you cheated today. Something's wrong with you, you started to use your brain. Uchiha Obito, I've been traveling with Lin everywhere these days. I'm in a good mood and my IQ has gone up. Yuyu, your previous plan was to send someone to Madara to help, right? Shinomiya Yuyu, that's right, then your clever plan is. Uchiha Obito, we thought of going together. Whether you plan to go into battle yourself or find someone to replace you, I have a more suitable candidate here. Shinomiya Yuzuki, you're not going to volunteer, are you? With your small body, Shaohui's Yoruichi just remembered the Yasogami airstrike and was beaten flat. Uchiha Obito, how is it possible? The person I want to recommend is. At by mask, that's him. White mask was stunned, as if he didn't expect that Obito would suddenly cue him. When he came back to his senses, a sneer curled up at the corner of his mouth. 
No matter what his purpose was, whether it was revenge for the previous tit-for-tat confrontation or simply wanting to watch the fun, White Mask was not going to buy it. Why do you need to do things that are unprofitable and inexplicable? So, he followed his heart and typed a reply in the group. White Mask, if you still think that I am the young man who was willing to help others when I was young, then you will be disappointed. Besides, everyone calls for beating that old guy Madara, so there is no reason for me to go into that muddy water. His refusal was straightforward. Everyone in the group, including Shinomiya Yuzuki, was full of questions. How could Obito have the confidence to recruit White Mask? Everyone's curiosity was completely ignited, and they gathered to watch. Uchiha Obito, you will definitely go. White Mask, why? Uchiha Obito, the reason is, first of all, besides you you, you are now the most powerful character in the group. Only you are qualified to participate in a battle of that level and even influence the situation. As soon as these words came out, everyone nodded tacitly. Not long ago, White Mask became Ten Tails Jinchuriki. After a fierce battle with Naruto, he directly opened Kamui, dragged Ghetto statue into Kamui space, and used the Golden Horn and Silver Horn to resurrect Ten Tails. But when Madara finally arrived after tracking Ghetto statue, she only saw an empty battlefield and was helpless. Eventually, Obito merged with the resurrected Ten Tails in the Kamui dimension, officially becoming the Ten Tails Jinchuriki. He was then promoted to the second Sage of Six Paths. After ascending to immortality, the first thing he did was to send Madara back to the underworld, ending the fourth ninja war. According to the original script, he should try to activate infinite Tsukuyomi at this time, but the existence of Otsutsuki Iki made him quite afraid and did not dare to act rashly. The world in his dream is a flawless genjutsu paradise, where everyone can enjoy the beauty of life in the illusion instead of taking their lives carelessly, so Six Paths Obito has not implemented infinite Tsukuyomi. He chose to hide until he could deal with Otsutsuki Ichiki himself. But everyone on his timeline was confused, and a big battle started inexplicably, and then ended abruptly. Since they couldn't find the final boss, they had to disperse and return to their respective villages. This series of operations undoubtedly rewrote the trajectory of fate, and Shinomiya Yuyu also received a generous gold coin reward. Shinomiya Yuyu, so, your current identity is different from before. Please change your ID. After Yuzuki's operation, the name, White Mask, became, Six Paths Obito. Six Paths Obito, what kind of excuse is this? If you are capable, you have to give unconditionally. You won't tell me later that with great power comes great responsibility, right? You, should not be so naive. Uchiha Obito, oh, why bother using a moral stick to suppress me? Don't worry, I have a second reason that I guarantee you won't be able to refuse. Six Paths Obito, speak. Uchiha Obito, the Otsutsuki Kegaya is the only Otsutsuki clan member that is currently accessible. Aren't you curious and want to experience the powerful power of the Otsutsuki bloodline for yourself? In this way, when you fight against other Otsutsuki in future battles, wouldn't you be able to have a better chance of winning and master more secrets of victory? Besides, if you want to activate infinite Tsukuyomi again, then your opponents can wait in line. Let alone the Otsutsuki 1 style for now, there is also the Otsutsuki Ura style waiting for you. In the further future, Otsutsuki Momoshiki and Kinshiki will also be waiting there. The tough battles in the future will be one after another. As a former ninja, you should know the importance of intelligence better than anyone else, right? If you know yourself and the enemy, you will never be defeated in a hundred battles. Six Paths Obito, having said that, I already know the key information about their Otsutsuki. Wasn't the operation of the pupil technique clearly explained in that video? Uchiha Obito, is watching a play the same as being on stage and singing the leading role. How can you become a real strong person by talking on paper? Of course, if you really decide to go, I can give you two extra photos of Lin. Six Paths Obito was silent. I don't know whether he was moved by Obito's words or more moved by Lin's photos, maybe both. The atmosphere in the group was instantly ignited. Shinomiya Yuzuki, are you sure you are Obito? You're not possessed by someone else, right? How could my Obito become so witty and think so clearly? Namikaze Minato, Obito, you have really matured a lot. 
Senju Hashirama. You are becoming more and more like Madara's wise demeanor. Uchiha Itachi. Maybe the wisdom gene of the Uchiha family has awakened, and Obito is not stupid to begin with. Uchiha Obito. Ha ha, thank you, thank you. In reality, facing the overwhelming praise from the group, Obito was so excited that he laughed triumphantly. Ha 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 ha, I'm so smart. Not only did I trick that into helping me, but I also showed my wisdom to the group. But his laughter quickly attracted Nohara Rin's scolding. Obito, keep your voice down, Kakashi needs to rest. Obito immediately restrained himself and nodded with a playful smile. Okay, okay. He sat down next to Nohara Rin, glanced at the weak Kakashi on the hospital bed, and couldn't help but roll his eyes. This guy was brought back just two hours after being discharged from the hospital. I heard that he was beaten by Naruto and Sasuke. It was simply an operation with a low IQ. He was beaten to such a degree by his own students that everyone had to circle around him again. It's better to continue as before, leave the clone to take care of him, and go out to play with Lin. Shinomiya Yuzuki, at six paths Obito, what do you think? If you nod, I will send you there immediately. Six paths Obito, I have to accept it. What that guy said makes sense. Well, I have nothing to do anyway, so I'll just take a walk. HMPH, I never thought that the old guy Madara would need my help one day. Shinomiya Yuyu, then I will open the portal right now. Six paths Obito, wait a minute. Bring that kid with you. Since merging with Ten Tails, my Kamui can no longer be used. I am not the reincarnation of Indra, nor the successor of Asura's chakra. I do not have the bloodline of six paths. Just suppressing ten tails and the samsara I has consumed a lot of my energy. I can no longer activate Kamui at this moment. If Otsutsuki Kagaya activates Tianjong for space transfer, I may not be able to keep up. Shinomiya Yuzuki, that's it. At Uchiha Obito, Uchiha, what's your opinion? When Uchiha Obito saw the message, a smile suddenly solidified on his face. It can't be such a coincidence, right? The dart you throw can still hit your foot. Refuse. To be honest, facing a battle of that level, he was indeed a little timid. At this moment, Six Paths Obito directly at him. Six Paths Obito, are you scared if you haven't come back for so long? When Obito saw this, he gritted his teeth and said, Huh, you actually underestimate me. Just go. He quickly replied. Uchiha Obito, I just went to the bathroom. What's there to be afraid of? Just come here. Shinomiya Yuyu, okay, I am a father and son soldier in battle, but you are brothers fighting tigers. Teleportal, activate. Senju Hashirama, please, please. I'll thank you on Madara's behalf. Namikaze Minato, Obito, please be safe. Uchiha Itachi sent an exclusive red envelope to Uchiha Obito. Uchiha Itachi. Take this, it might help. Uchiha Obito accepted the red envelope. Uchiha Obito. Yada mirror. That's great. Now I have a life-saving charm. Sure enough, my good friend who played Fruit Ninja together is reliable. Thank you so much. Uchiha Itachi. It's okay, it should be. Shinomiya Yuyu. It's almost time. Inside Konoha Hospital. A Madara-colored portal slowly opened in front of Uchiha Obito's eyes, like an entrance to a mysterious and different world. He found that Lin seemed to be unaware of the portal in front of her and turned a blind eye. Obito smiled and said, Lin, I'm going out for a while. Even with the protection of the Yata mirror, this battle is still full of dangers. Let's say goodbye, just in case. Well, nothing happens, the group leader is keeping an eye on it. I have sweated for the chat group and bled for the chat group. If something goes wrong, the group leader will definitely help me, right? Nohara Rin turned her head, thinking that Obito was just temporarily out for business, but seeing the look on his face, she caught an unusual signal from the depths of his eyes. This trip is probably no small matter. A trace of worry flashed in Nohara Rin's eyes, and thousands of thoughts converged into a brief warning. Be careful on the road, I will be here until you come back. When Obito heard this, he seemed to be filled with endless energy and grinned. Don't worry, I'll get everything done and come back soon. As soon as he finished speaking, he jumped vigorously and disappeared into the vortex of the portal. Six paths Obito's timeline. 
In the Kamui space, it was still dark, and six paths Obito's figure faintly appeared. Most of his attention is occupied by suppressing the samsara eye and ten tails, and the use of Sharingan only has basic functions. It's okay to enter and exit the Kamui space, but I can't even use virtualization freely. At this time, in a corner of Kamui's space, six paths Obito waved gently and moved several huge blocks away, revealing a black quagmire underneath that was nailed by 81 black spears. That is the third son of Otsutsuki Kegaya, the embodiment of his will, Black Zetsu. After solving Madara's reincarnation in the Dirty Land and sending him to the Underworld, he captured the Black Zetsu who controlled his life. He does not know the advanced sealing techniques, so he can only use the most primitive method, these black rods to firmly control Heiju. Imprison it permanently in Kamui space. I finally went out, but I can't let you take the opportunity to escape. Six paths Obito waved his hand, and dozens of black spears were generated out of thin air, flying towards black zetsu like raindrops. Ding 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 ding. But after a moment, the black mud was, decorated, with dozens of black spears. The sealing power of the black rod is so powerful that a single one is enough to trap a janin, not to mention there are so many that even the cunning black zetsu can't bear it. Its form begins to change from solid to liquid, and it is difficult to maintain even the basic physical state. Eventually, Six Paths Obito once again covered it with giant stones, plunging it into darkness forever. This should be foolproof. Nothing will happen again before I come back. After checking repeatedly to make sure everything was correct, Six Paths Obito also jumped into the air and jumped into the embrace of the portal. Otsutsuki Kegaya. Humph, you will never come back. Kona has 67 years. Late night of the second night of the fourth ninja war has quietly arrived. The ninja alliance tried their best, but still could not escape the fate of failure. Infinite Tsukuyomi is activated, and Uchiha Madara, who controls the power of six paths, casts the god deep forest creation, imprisoning everyone in the world in the air, like hanging cocoons, unable to struggle, and can only wait for the judgment of fate. Only those souls who were resurrected through the reincarnation of the Dirty Land, as well as Kakashi, Sakura and Uzumaki Naruto who were rescued by Sasuke in time, were able to maintain freedom of movement in this doomsday scene. It's all over. Six paths Madara faced them, her eyes were calm and her tone was as calm as dead water. With the successful implementation of Infinite Tsukuyomi, the perfect world he dreamed of seemed within reach, and years of planning finally bore fruit. However, changes suddenly broke out at this moment. Bang. There was a dull sound of flesh being penetrated. Uchiha Madara lowered his head in disbelief and saw a dark hand piercing his chest. That's wrong, Madara, you are not the hero who saves the world, and this is far from over. Behind Uchiha Madara, Black Zetsu whispered coldly. Madara tried her best to turn around and face Heiju, but found that her body was tightly controlled by a strange force and she was completely disobedient. Only the eyes embedded with samsara eyes can still move slightly. My body, can't move. Why? Isn't that just an extension of his will? Why would you betray him? There was no time to think deeply. The sacred tree began to greedily absorb the chakra of the trapped people, trying to gather the chakra of the world into one for the use of Otsutsuki Kegaya, who was about to be resurrected. Immediately afterwards, the ground suddenly shook. Endless chakra surges out from the ground. A substantial pillar of light rose into the sky, lighting up the night sky. Get out of the way. Naruto, Sasuke and others were also affected and hurriedly looked for shelter. The soaring chakra pillar spun in the air and rushed directly towards Uchiha Madara, and a massive amount of chakra poured into his body like a torrent. Well, the pain caused by this impact was indescribable, and even Uchiha Madara couldn't help but moan in pain. Madara's body expanded rapidly like a balloon. He couldn't bear the huge amount of chakra at all, and the explosion seemed to be about to happen in the next second. As her consciousness gradually blurred, Madara whispered in a daze, Why, how could it become like this? Hashirama, where did I go wrong? Until finally, his consciousness was completely swallowed by darkness. It was about to explode, but a miracle happened. Madara's body miraculously stabilized after expanding to the limit. Then it slowly shrinks and gradually condenses into a human form until it becomes clearer and clearer. The blue and white intertwined long hair pours down like a waterfall. 
Even if it is suspended in mid-air, the hair still touches the ground. She is wearing a white dress with a black magatama pattern, the sharingan on her forehead is dazzling, she has two horns on her head, and her beautiful yet innocent face is shocking. Otsutsuki Kegaya. This is what the old man called Otsutsuki. Naruto stared in shock. Kegaya. Sasuke continued with a stern expression. Otsutsuki Kegaya slowly opened her eyes, revealing a pair of flawless white eyes, which were the famous Byakugan in the world of pupil arts. She has mastered the two major eye techniques of reincarnation, Sharingan and Byakugan at the same time. The three ultimate eye skills of the ninja world were miraculously integrated into her. Suddenly, a suffocating pressure came overwhelmingly, making everyone present feel unprecedented pressure. Without unnecessary words, Otsutsuki Kegaya acted directly. She was suspended in midair, and the long hair behind her, as flowing as a wedding dress, seemed to be alive and dancing on its own. It turned into a torrent of hair containing huge power and rushed towards Naruto and Sasuke. Sasuke's fingers crackled with electricity, and he swung the Chidori, cutting off the hair quickly like a sharp blade. Chidori made a hissing sound, and was extremely sharp, instantly tearing apart all the hair strands that came like a violent storm. Sasuke's eyes flashed, and he decided to fight back. He rushed towards Kegaya. But at this moment, more hair strands surged forward and collided hard with his Chidori. Chidori's light went out, and Sasuke was hit by a violent ball of hair, and his whole body flew out like a cannonball. Sasuke. Naruto's heart tightened, but Sasuke was hit hard, but he also accidentally knocked Naruto away. The two of them barely stopped until their backs hit a boulder. Sasuke, Naruto. Sakura was extremely anxious, and was about to run towards the two of them, but found that her body was out of control, as if she was stuck in a quagmire. She turned around in shock, only to see Otsutsuki Kegaya passing by her indifferently, as if she didn't exist. Now, don't act rashly. Kakashi warned seriously, knowing that the situation was serious. However, Kegaya has no intention of taking action against them. In Kegaya's eyes, these two people are just insignificant mortals. She activated her Byakugan and instantly saw the chakra in Naruto and Sasuke's bodies. Six paths yin power and six paths yang power. That is the power derived from Otsutsuki Hagoromo, the legendary sage of six paths. Do you want to seal me again? There was both hatred and confusion in her eyes. Why do her descendants always want to seal her? Obviously everything she did was just to fight for the future. Even if he doesn't help, he will continue to cause trouble. Kegaya suppressed the thoughts in her heart. Since the children are disobedient, then kill them all. Otsutsuki Kegaya slowly rose up and hung in the air. Facing the wary looks of Naruto and Sasuke, she said calmly. Then, let's end everything for you here. She plans to activate the, heaven's control, to drag everyone into the lava space and let them turn to ashes in the boiling magma. However, at this moment, a dark object flew over at an alarming speed. Kegaya turned around suddenly, and her white eyes immediately caught this uninvited guest, but she had no time to react. Boom. Kegaya's figure was blown away like a kite with a broken string, kicking up dust all over the sky, and broke through two mountain peaks before finally stopping. At this time, Sasuke saw clearly what hit Kegaya, it was a truth-seeking ball. After repelling Kegaya, it lost its target and floated silently in the air, stopping at the location where Kegaya originally stood. Sasuke looked at Naruto in surprise, because the only person here with the truth-seeking ball was Naruto. Naruto saw Sasuke's suspicious eyes and quickly shook his head in denial, I didn't do it. Sasuke's face was full of confusion. There couldn't be a second truth-seeking ball here except Naruto. At this moment, the mysterious truth-seeking ball in the sky moved slowly, causing Naruto and Sasuke to look up hurriedly. They discovered that at some point, two more figures appeared in the sky. And the truth-seeking ball floated leisurely to the back of one of them, as if it had found its home. Obito. Naruto and Kakashi saw the face of the visitor clearly, and their jaws almost dropped to the ground in shock. The opponent is not only Obito, but also Obito in six paths form. Holding the six paths tin staff, with nine dark and deep truth-seeking balls floating behind him, what else could it be besides the six paths mode? 
Not long ago, they had a fierce battle with six paths Obito, how could this face admit his mistake? However, hasn't Obito already had his tailed beast taken away and is no longer ten tails Jinchuriki? Their eyes turned aside involuntarily, their eyes full of horror, because in that place, there's actually an Obito lying there. It is the Obito who lost ten tails, had his body controlled by Black Zetsu, and is now dying. How come there are two Obitos? Naruto's eyes widened and he looked back and forth between the two Obitos. Kakashi stepped forward slowly and said in a serious tone, No, there are three. He raised his eyes and locked his gaze on the small figure next to Obito in six paths. It was a boy-looking Obito, with a sunny smile, wearing goggles, and looking silly. Never admit a mistake. Three, three. Naruto was completely confused, scratching his head on the spot, not knowing what to do. Things are getting weirder and weirder. Sasuke, who is always calm, couldn't help but speak out. They're coming down. Kakashi's eyes never left the two Obitos, and he immediately noticed their movements. Seeing this, everyone couldn't help but become nervous, their eyes full of alertness. Although the other party has helped before, their true identity cannot be determined yet. After all, it is too incredible to have three Obitos appear at the same time. The boy Obito cannot fly alone yet. He stands on a platform made of a truth-seeking ball and slowly descends. As he got closer and closer to the ground, his face was filled with excitement and he jumped directly from the sky. Ha ha ha, idiot Kakashi, I'm here to help you. The strange laughter floated in the air from far to near. This familiar tone made Kakashi tremble, and surprise flashed in his eyes. That's right. This is indeed Obito, not some weird fake. Obito landed firmly on the ground, patted the dust on his body, smiled proudly, and raised his eyebrows at Kakashi. How about, our appearance is timely enough. Obito. Kakashi looked complicated. Uh, hello. I'm Uzumaki Naruto, are you really Obito? Naruto noticed Kakashi's reaction, seemed to realize something, relaxed his guard a little, and stepped forward to ask curiously. Of course I am the real Uchiha Obito. What about him? Naruto scratched his head and pointed at the uncertain Obito not far away. The young Obito took a look and replied, He is also Uchiha Obito, but he is the Obito of your time and space. And I come from another time and space, and the above is in the same situation. After speaking, he pointed at Six Paths Obito, which was slowly descending from the sky. Oh. That's it. Naruto suddenly realized that after all, he had traveled through time and space on a dragon vein journey. For him, accepting this strange thing was as natural as eating ramen. Naruto, do you know this? Kakashi and Sasuke both cast doubtful glances, as if asking, why do you suddenly seem to have grasped the truth of the universe? Actually, this is what happened. Naruto was like a patient elementary school teacher, teaching his two, classmates, the secrets of dragon veins and their incredible power. After some explanation, the two of them nodded again and again as if they were waking up from a dream. There is such a mysterious place hidden in the ninja world. Sasuke's eyes flickered, and his thoughts were obviously far away. A dragon vein that can distort time and space. Maybe, he can. Kakashi turned to the boy Obito. So, you came through the dragon vein. Not entirely right, but it's pretty close. Kakashi nodded slightly. Okay, you are willing to help. I am very grateful, Obito, I have received your thoughts, but. Kakashi glanced up and down at the boy Obito, thinking in his mind. At this age, has Sharingan opened? In addition to the great fireball jutsu, is there any other ninjutsu? Although he couldn't bear to pour cold water on him, for his safety, Kakashi still had to remind. The upcoming battle may not be suitable for you. Why don't you and Sakura find a safe place to take shelter first? The boy Obito's face darkened. Hey, Kakashi, you guy, do you look down on me? I am. The boy Obito pointed to his eyes and was about to make a bold statement when Six Paths Obito's indifferent voice suddenly came from the sky. Stop dawdling, she's here. Before he finished speaking, a dazzling white light suddenly appeared on the horizon. Following closely behind were countless giant fists, thundering down from the sky at a terrifying speed. 80 Gods Air Strike. One of the abilities of Blood Successor Snare, the supreme taijutsu that only Otsutsuki Kegaya can control. 
Densely packed giant fists filled the sky, as if the sky was falling apart. The heavy pressure made everyone present breathless. At this time, Six Paths Obito slowly landed on the ground, blocking everyone. He waved his hand, and the Six Paths tin staff changed unpredictably in his hand, quickly extending and turning into a strange but powerful weapon. Amanuma Spear. The legendary sage of Six Paths, Sword of Creation. The sword body carries the owner's firm will, forming a sword of the soul. Once upon a time, Obito of this time and space also wielded it, but his faith was shaken and the Amanuma spear disappeared. However, Six Paths Obito, who comes from another time and space, has already understood all the truth, and his will is indestructible. This Sky Marsh spear will be indestructible and invincible. Six Paths Obito waved lightly, and the Amanuma spear met the roaring Yasugami air strike, and an earth-shattering collision broke out between the two. Bam! There was a loud noise, deafening, like thunder, resounding through the sky, and the whole world seemed to be shaken by this power. The white light is overflowing, dazzling and blinding, and the light is continuous, just like daylight. Bang! The roar gradually subsided, and the world returned to its original tranquility and gloom. What came into view was a tragic scene. The ground is covered with crater-like traces, which are shocking. This scene was like a meteor shower mercilessly washing over this land, with only the area under six paths Obito and behind him intact. All, all blocked. Kakashi was shocked and felt disbelief in his heart. Who is this opponent? That kind of power that destroys the world is like a tailed beast cannon raging. If six paths Obito hadn't turned the tide, I'm afraid he wouldn't even be able to leave his complete remains. Six Paths Obito glanced at the Amanuma spear that was slightly bent, but quickly recovered. What a powerful force. Is this Otsutsuki? It's really interesting. Naruto and Sasuke exchanged a look, both eyes filled with inexplicable surprise. How to describe this sudden sense of security? Thinking back to the time when they fought against Six Paths Obito in this time and space, they went through a lot of hardships, gathered the right people at the right time and the right place, and barely managed to win. Unexpectedly, in the blink of an eye, he became a fighting partner and could be so reliable. Ah, thanks to you. Naruto said gratefully. However, before he finished speaking, the surrounding environment suddenly changed. It was like changing the scenery. Red light shot into the sky, heat waves rolled in, and the air was filled with the pungent smell of sulfur. The ground beneath everyone's feet suddenly disappeared and began to fall rapidly. When he lowered his head, he saw that instead of the hard ground below, he saw hot and rolling lava. If he fell into it, the consequences would be disastrous. Naruto, try to control your flying ability. Six paths Obito suspended in midair and shouted to Naruto. He was still holding Sakura who was unable to fly, and he was nearby to give her a hand in an emergency. Flight. Naruto, who was falling at high speed, suddenly realized that as soon as Six Paths Obito finished speaking, he stood firmly in the void. For every Six Paths, this is an instinctive skill. Naruto just didn't realize it. Once activated, it is as natural as a limb. After flying stably, Naruto quickly grabbed Obito, who had been in a coma in this time and space, and rescued him from danger. At the same time, two huge and complete Suzanos rose into the air from the lava, flapped their huge wings, and flew to safety. One is dark purple, calm and mysterious, the other is light blue, cold and sharp. It is none other than Suzano from Sasuke and Boy Obito. Obito, you. Kakashi was rescued by the boy Obito, and together they were in the gem space in front of Suzano's forehead. He looked at the young man in front of him who was only as high as his chest in shock, and his heart was filled with disbelief. Complete Suzano. Isn't this a dream? When did the boy Obito have such power? Idiot Kakashi, do you still dare to underestimate me? You are the one holding me back now. The boy Obito raised his eyebrows at Kakashi proudly. Yeah, I understand. You are so arrogant, so you should be satisfied. Kakashi rolled his eyes and gave a casual thumbs up. Although he was wondering how this kid could unlock such a powerful power at such an age, he was well aware of the arrogance of the young Obito. If he followed what he said now, this guy would be so proud that his tail would be raised to the sky. Come to me. Six paths Obito's voice penetrates everyone's heart like a magnet. Everyone immediately moved when they heard the sound. 
After all, among this group of people, no one was stronger than this guy. Obito, what are your plans? Naruto asked impatiently, his eyes sparkling with the desire to fight together. Six paths Obito's eyes glanced at Sakura beside him, and then towards the space-time Obito held in Naruto's hand. Send them both away first so that they won't be taken care of during the battle. Obito is unconscious in this time and space, so needless to say, as for Sakura. Alas, almost zero combat power. But Sakura seemed to have her own ideas, and she said anxiously, I can help. Sakura. Sasuke suddenly spoke up. Obedient. Sakura looked up suddenly, met Sasuke's unwavering eyes, and her expression softened. Oh well. Take them out. Six paths Obito ordered the boy Obito. Kamui. The boy Obito struggled to twist space and opened a passage to the outside world. Let's go. The boy Obito urged. This is not his space territory. To break the boundaries of time and space, it would take a lot of effort. Sakura glanced at Sasuke one last time, picked up Obito from this time and space, and jumped through the passage. Well, seeing the two people leaving, the boy Obito hurriedly closed Kamui, and then covered his eyes in pain. Obito, how's it going? Kakashi next to him quickly supported him. It's okay, the eye power will be restored soon. Hiss, it's really annoying to be teleporting in someone else's space while maintaining Suzano. Hey, why did you ask me to say that just now? Sasuke suddenly said. That's right, the words that told Sakura to, obey, were actually instructions secretly transmitted by Six Paths Obito. He originally wanted Sakura to evacuate quickly and not get in the way. With his temperament, how could he possibly say such a tender word as, obedient? Six Paths glanced at him lightly, because it works. After saying that, Six Paths Obito withdrew his gaze and looked at the magma world. I didn't even notice that this space was opening. It's such a brilliant technique. He himself is also a master of playing with time and space, but when Kagaya used Tianzhong, he had no idea that the opponent's technique was really advanced. In the other end, Otsutsuki Kagaya was also watching them quietly from a distance. Another sacred tree. A trace of confusion flashed across Kagaya's face. She actually felt another sacred tree in the other person's body, this. How can there be two sacred trees at the same time? Mom, it seems that something incomprehensible has happened. Black Zetsu, who was hidden in Kagaya's sleeves, said in a deep voice. That Ten Tails Jinchuriki's name is Uchiha Obito. He has obviously been separated from Ten Tails. How can he still use Six Paths mode? No, it's not completely separated, there is still a Ten Tails in his body. Kagaya explained. Ah, Heiju's little head was filled with doubts. If it weren't for Kagaya in front of him, he would definitely retort. He had witnessed Obito's tailed beast being stripped off with his own eyes. Besides, if the other party really has ten tails, what does the one in your body mean, mom? Forget it, mom, the top priority is to find a way to deal with them. Heiju shook his head. He couldn't figure it out and simply stopped thinking about it. We need to separate them. It's dangerous for those two guys, Naruto and Sasuke, to join forces. If you're not careful, they will be sealed. Yes. Kagaya nodded in agreement and acted according to Black Zetsu's plan. After all, she had been sealed for many years and was not good at fighting, so it would be better to listen to her children's advice. Thinking of this, Kagaya suddenly raised his hand and grabbed the air on one side. The moment her fingers touched it, the space seemed to be torn apart, and a dark crack opened. Kagaya's arm passed directly through the crack and stretched silently towards Sasuke's back. She plans to throw Sasuke into another dimension. Just when he was about to succeed, a huge sword fell from the sky. The Ten Directions Divine Sky Sword. This weapon comes from the boy Obito Suzano. A sharp blade that can cut through space. He sensed the fluctuations in the surrounding space, noticed Kagaya's plot, and immediately launched an attack without hesitation. The sharp sword light struck down. The space was torn and twisted. When Otsutsuki Kagaya saw that something was not good, she immediately retracted her arm and let the Tokagami sky sword fall into the air. Really quick response. The boy Obito opened his eyes wide. No, there's something wrong with that short Obito. Black Zetsu's pupils shrank. Mom, we're in trouble. It's okay, mom will defeat them. 
Otsutsuki Kegaya smiled slightly. On the other side, Naruto and Sasuke exchanged a look and launched an offensive in unison. Superior. Amaterasu Inferno style Chidori. Sage Art Tailed Beast Rasengan Shuriken. The two men were divided into left and right sides and launched an attack from the side. Try this of mine. The boy Obito held Suzano in the air, and a huge Magatama appeared in his hand. Kamui Magatama. Suzano threw it hard, and the huge Magatama carried the power of distorting space and went straight towards Kegaya. Six paths Obito saw this and quickly took to the air, brandishing the Amanuma spear and descending from the sky to launch an offensive. Surrounded on all sides. Mom, get out of here. Black Zetsu exclaimed. Attacks like a tidal wave suddenly hit from all directions, so fast that she didn't even have a chance to escape. Faced with this sudden crisis, it was already too late to escape from Horazan. Otsutsuki Kegaya didn't have time to hesitate, and used Tien no Gochu again. In an instant, it seemed as if the entire universe was turned upside down under her will, and the scene in front of everyone suddenly changed. The original purgatory space burning with blazing red light and raging magma was instantly replaced by a completely different scene. Instead, there is a vast world of ice and snow. The sky is blue, and the wind is mixed with fine snowflakes flying all over the sky. It is cold, magnificent, and heart-stoppingly beautiful. Click, click. The sound of ice cracking was endless, and along with this sudden change, the biting cold air was like an invisible giant wave, drowning everyone in an instant. Both the strong and the weak appear so small and helpless in the face of this absolute low temperature. Their bodies were solidified in an instant, turning into crystal clear but lifeless ice sculptures. Only a trace of flowing luster remained in his eyes, silently expressing his inner shock and struggle. Even the powerful and nearly invincible complete Suzano could not escape this sudden freezing. Its once arrogant figure was now firmly frozen, as if it had been frozen by time. Uzumaki Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke were fixed in midair by this force, and then slowly fell to the hard ground. Above them, the attack launched by six paths Obito in the sky was also interrupted due to this sudden change. What's even more shocking is that even the Magatama released by the boy Obito using Kamui was completely locked in the air by this severe cold. It turned into a huge ice ball, fell to the ground, and shattered into pieces. For a time, all the fierce offensives were eliminated by this mysterious power of ice and snow. However, even the master of this space, Otsutsuki Kegaya, seemed unable to completely resist the extreme cold. Her body was also slowly invaded by ice, and layers of frost were gradually covered. However, this is the space she controls after all, and Kegaya shows her otherworldly power. Her body actually merged with the surrounding ice, as if she had become the queen of the ice and snow world, freely mobilizing the power of nature and preparing to launch a new round of offensive. In an instant, the entire ice and snow world seemed to be given life, the earth trembled, and the mountains roared. From the depths of the ground, thick and extremely sharp icicles suddenly rushed out. Their targets were directed at Naruto and Sasuke who were trapped in the ice. The sharp ends shone with cold light, and it seemed that they could penetrate in the next second. Break through all obstacles. At this critical moment, Sasuke's huge Suzano suddenly burst into black flames. Inferno-style flame control. The terrifying high temperature instantly disintegrated the surrounding ice shell, and the two of them broke out of the ice like phoenixes rising from the ashes. Chidori sharp spear. Sasuke's voice echoed through the sky, and the blue electric light condensed into an extremely sharp lightsaber, cutting through the sky. Sage Art Spiral Shuriken. Immediately afterwards, Naruto also used his signature move to the extreme, and the rotating chakra wind tore apart the oncoming icicles. Hey, are you okay? Do you need help? After clearing the siege, Naruto suspended in midair and shouted loudly towards Obito, a boy not far away. The boy Obito raised his lips and waved his hand easily, don't worry, these are just trivial matters to me. His words were full of confidence and calmness. As soon as he finished speaking, he released his complete Suzano, held Kakashi in one hand, directly passed through the ice obstacles that were ineffective against them, and stepped out steadily. For him who has the ability to blur, such a predicament is simply a piece of cake, and he can get rid of it easily. Obito, the boy who regained his freedom, summoned Suzano again. He and Kakashi rode the wind together, 
and only attached a thin layer of chakra shield to the outer layer of the Suzano, which easily blocked the cold from the outside world. Although the ice and snow space created by Otsutsuki Kegaya is powerful, for those who don't understand it, they will have the biggest impact when they first step into it. Once a countermeasure is found, the threat level of this ice and snow world will be greatly reduced. Naruto, gather chakra outside your body to form a protective shield, which can effectively resist this extremely cold air. Although Obito spoke quickly, his words were clear. Upon hearing this, Naruto and Sasuke quickly adjusted their breathing and united their minds. Chakra surged in their bodies and slowly overflowed their bodies like a tide, forming two layers of slightly glowing energy shields. Suddenly, the raging cold wind around him seemed to be isolated, and the original biting cold feeling gradually dissipated. Pay attention to your surroundings. Kakashi's voice followed closely, with a hint of urgency. In this boundless realm of ice and snow, they were like wanderers expelled by nature itself. Everything around them became hostile, and even every molecule in the air seemed to be preparing to give them a fatal blow. Before he finished speaking, countless icicles suddenly appeared in the sky, like thousands of arrows fired in unison, with a whistling sound, aiming directly at the four people. Sasuke's eyes flashed, with deep dark flames flowing in the depths of his pupils, Amaterasu. With a low voice, Suzano was like the god of war coming to the world. As he waved his arms, the huge sharp blade in his hand was covered with a layer of roiling black flames. The flame was so hot that wherever it touched, the icicles disintegrated and turned into steam that dissipated in the air. Not to be outdone, Naruto said, Sage Art Super Spiral Shuriken. Along with his roar, several huge shurikens spinning with blue chakra light came out. Cutting into the air, where it collided with the icicles, ice shards flew everywhere, and the earth seemed to be shaking at this moment. However, this is only a temporary resistance. Otsutsuki Kegaya's deep integration with the world of ice and snow enables her to easily control the power of nature. The attacks are endless like waves, and everyone gradually feels powerless. What should we do now? Naruto frowned, his inner anxiety palpable. The boy Obito looked up at the sky don't worry, that guy must have a plan to deal with it. Naruto followed Obito's gaze and saw six paths Obito's figure standing majestically in the sky, calm and unshakable. At this moment, a drop of warm liquid gently touched Naruto's eyebrows, making him startled suddenly. Water. It's so cold here, how can water be liquid? He murmured to himself, filled with doubts in his heart. As that, a cross offering fire. The boy Obito squinted and recognized this skill. Behind six paths Obito, five tiny beams of fire quietly bloomed. They were not ostentatious, but they were particularly eye-catching in the ice and snow. The existence of these flames seemed to have some incredible power, and the ice surrounding six paths Obito began to melt faster. Even the snowflakes that kept falling were melted by the warm aura when they approached him, and they disappeared in a blink of an eye, turning into drizzle. Immediately afterwards, Six Paths Obito raised the Amanuma spear in his hand, with a beam of crossfire wrapped around it, and the artifact was immediately given extraordinary power. He waved lightly, and the movement seemed light, but it contained earth-shattering power. In an instant, the world seemed to be torn apart. A terrifying high temperature erupted from the tip of the Tianum spear, like the scorching sun. The world of ice and snow was helpless in the face of this force, and instantly turned into a boiling water with magnificent waves. This sudden change cleverly avoided Naruto and the others below, ensuring their safety. Without the protection of ice and snow, Otsutsuki Kegaya was forcibly separated from the embrace of nature. The look of astonishment was clearly etched on her face. This. Before Otsutsuki Kegaya's thoughts were completely condensed, the chakra surging in her body was ready to go, ready to urge Hirazaka to leave. Control her. Six paths Obito's voice suddenly sounded. The boy Obito moved when he heard the sound, his eyes widened, and the pair of deep Sharingan suddenly bloomed with an unprecedented intensity of light. Time and space are destroyed. As the boy Obito shouted, an unimaginable power crashed into Otsutsuki Kegaya's body like a torrent. In an instant, her figure froze in the void, as if time was suddenly frozen. Hurry up. My power can only last for a moment. The boy Obito shouted urgently. 
Before he could finish his words, two bright red blood streaks snaked down the corners of his eyes, revealing the cost of overloading the magic. To stabilize Otsutsuki Kegaya, this consumption is by no means easy. Six paths Obito didn't need any more words. He flashed and appeared above Otsutsuki Kegaya like a ghost. The Amanuma spear in his hand exuded a cold light and stabbed her with an incomparable sharpness. That legendary artifact seemed to be able to easily tear apart space. Black Zetsu, who was hiding in Kegaya's sleeves, saw this scene and screamed in horror. Mom, get out of the way. However, its cry seemed to be blocked by invisible force, and Otsutsuki Kegaya remained silently suspended in the air, motionless. Mom! Heiju screamed again, with despair and unwillingness. At this moment, the Amanuma spear penetrated Otsutsuki Kegaya's body without any hindrance, leaving an ominous shadow. Naruto, seize the opportunity. Six paths Obito shouted. Sasuke! Naruto called out almost at the same time, Sasuke understood it, and the two of them rushed towards the unable to move Otsutsuki Kegaya like arrows. At the same time, Obito, a boy who overexerted spells, finally couldn't hold on any more and swayed and fell down. Seeing this, Kakashi stepped forward and caught him steadily. Fortunately, Six Paths Obito's control of Kegaya has not yet been released, and there is still a glimmer of hope for the sealing operation. Mom, fight back quickly. They are coming. Black desperately approached Naruto and Sasuke step by step, their faces twisted in panic. Time waits for no one. If you don't take action in time, you will face eternal imprisonment. I. Can't move. Kegaya's voice was weak and weak, revealing an irresistible sense of restraint. Black Zetsu's eyes fell on the Amanuma spear that penetrated Kegaya. Looking along the tip of the spear, the figure confronting Six Paths Obito was the key to restraining Kegaya. Although the opponent is strong, maintaining this level of control is obviously the limit. Beads of sweat have appeared on his forehead, and his expression is painful and twisted. But it happened that the opponent didn't need long, just a moment, and they won. Kegaya's eyes passed over Naruto and Sasuke who were preparing to attack on both sides, and an indescribable sadness filled her heart. Could it be that her fate is to fall into the endless seal again? Just when she was desperate, an unexpected force slowly raised her arm. It was Heiju's last-minute struggle. Don't hurt mom. Under the control of Black Zetsu, a gray bone spur filled with the aura of death sprouted from Kegaya's palm, and it struck towards Sasuke almost in the blink of an eye. Sasuke, avoid that attack. Six paths Obito shouted alertly, with a sense of urgency in his tone that was difficult to conceal. Killing ash bones together is one of the special skills of blood succession snare. Being touched by it means absolute destruction. Sasuke's eyes tightened. At the moment of life and death, he reacted quickly and used the power of his heavenly hand to instantly replace the air in the distance. He barely dodged the blow before the ash bones of the shared killer touched it. However, this operation caused them to miss the perfect sealing opportunity. At this moment, even the power of Six Paths Obito can no longer suppress Otsutsuki Kegaya. Kegaya's mind moved slightly, and the Heavenly Palace was activated in an instant. As the world spins, the surrounding environment undergoes earth-shaking changes, and the originally quiet world of ice and snow instantly transforms into an oppressive gravity space. An uneasy atmosphere filled the air, and the suffocating gravity suddenly increased countless times. At this moment, everyone lost the ability to fly and fell rapidly to the ground like meteorites. The air erupted with sharp whistling sounds due to their high-speed fall. Boom. The sound of heavy objects falling to the ground continued one after another, and the earth seemed to protest the sudden weight. Deep pits sprung up like mushrooms after rain, highlighting the catastrophic landing just now. Six paths Obito and Kegaya, although they each possessed powerful power at the six paths level, were forced to fall to the ground under such pure gravity. Obito reacted quickly and recovered his Amanuma spear in time. Although his movements seemed extremely laborious, he still tried his best to distance himself from Kegaya. However, Kegaya obviously had no intention of letting him go. Deal with you first. Her eyes were cold and determined, locked on Obito, and she gently raised her palm, and an ashes containing the power of destruction quietly emerged from her palm. The ashes of the slain people turned into a stream of light in an instant, 
like a sharp arrow that was taken off the string, and rushed straight towards six paths obito. However, perhaps due to a little trick of fate, this bone spur unexpectedly deflected, missing even by a hair. Mom, just aim and shoot. Hey Ju, who was watching the battle on the sidelines, saw this and couldn't help but remind him, with a hint of urgency and helplessness in his tone. Kegaya smiled calmly, seemingly unaffected, it doesn't matter, I will definitely be able to hit it this time, I have already adjusted the angle. Facing Kegaya's threatening action aimed at him again, Six Paths Obito's eyes narrowed, knowing that sitting still and waiting for death was definitely not the best option. So, he held the Tianum spear tightly, and when the ashes of the common killer attacked again, he wielded the Tianum spear with astonishing speed and precise judgment, and knocked away the terrifying attack. But this brief blow had exhausted his physical strength and chakra to the extreme. The power consumed in controlling Kegaya has not yet been recovered, and now he has to act under several times the gravity. Obito is at the end of his strength. Just when Kegaya was not to be outdone and was once again gathering her strength to launch the ash bones to kill each other, Six Paths Obito had a sly smile on his lips. I'm not fighting alone. Do you only focus on me? In an instant, there was a sound like a flock of birds chirping all around, and Uchiha Sasuke used the power of Tenshou to conduct an exquisite exchange with the space behind Kegaya. Almost in the blink of an eye, he appeared quietly behind Kegaya. Chidori, who had the Amaterasu flame condensed in his hand, struck at Kegaya with an aura that would destroy the world. Jianyu Thunder God. At the same time, Naruto also used the boy Obito's Kamui to teleport to Sasuke's side to fight together. Sage Art Magnet Style Rasengan. Shukaku's chakra was incorporated into the Rasengan that Naruto held tightly, which not only greatly improved the attack power, but also contained the power of the seal, making this move seem to be the key to victory or defeat. In the midst of lightning, Sasuke's Chidori and Naruto's magnet-style Rasengan hit Kegaya at the same time. The two forces converged, creating a shocking impact. Boom. Ah. Even as the founder of the ninja world, Kegaya couldn't help but moan in pain when faced with such a strong double blow. The body felt as if it had been hit by a heavy hammer and fell to the ground, stirring up dust and leaving a huge crater. Sasuke, take advantage of the moment. Naruto caught the moment when Kegaya briefly lost her ability to resist, and immediately called out loudly. Clear. Sasuke responded simply. The two then stretched out their hands carrying the power of six paths, preparing to join forces to perform the ultimate sealing techniques. Six Paths Planetary Devastation, intends to permanently seal Kegaya. However, when victory was in sight, Black Zetsu suddenly burst into action. He suddenly broke away from Kegaya's sleeves, like a black arrow, and rushed towards Naruto desperately. Mom, run away. Black Zetsu almost tried his best to invade Naruto's consciousness in order to control his body and reverse the situation. However, how can Naruto at Six Paths level be defeated by Black Zetsu? His will was as strong as a rock, and he could easily dissolve Heiju's erosion, tearing Heiju off from his body with just one pull. You guy. Naruto was filled with anger. During this short delay, Kegaya had used Wonkwan Hirazaka to escape, making the situation confusing again. The angry Naruto pulled out several special black rods and clanged Black Zetsu, who was trying to act again, to the ground, preventing him from further interference. Humph, as long as mom is still alive, our battle will not end. Although Heiju's voice sounded weak, it still revealed unyielding faith. It's just a little bit. Naruto's clenched fists trembled slightly. Kakashi patted his shoulder and said comfortingly, it's okay, at least we successfully captured a black zetsu. The most urgent task at the moment is to pursue immediately. Once Kegaya reaches the origin space, her power will be restored quickly, and time waits for no one. Six Paths Obito's words revealed an unquestionable determination. When Heiju heard this, his face suddenly changed, and he was filled with horror. How could you possibly know this? This is a secret that my mother has never revealed, and not even Sage of Six Paths knows. How did the other party find out? Six Paths Obito just glanced at him coldly without responding. He turned his eyes to the young Obito and asked. Do you still have the ability to use space teleportation again? The boy Obito looked almost exhausted and panted, I think if I use Kamui again, I will really fall down. 
Upon hearing this, Naruto raised the corners of his mouth and said optimistically, it's not so exaggerated, right? Absolutely. Then I'll give you some chakra. Naruto suggested cheerfully. As he spoke, he came closer and put his warm palm on the shoulder of the young Obito. A gentle but powerful energy flowed quietly. After receiving the chakra delivered by Naruto, the young Obito seemed to be stimulated by electricity, his body shook violently, and his whole body instantly glowed with life. I feel like I'm going to explode. The boy Obito announced excitedly, as if the previous weakness had been swept away. Don't wait any longer. Now that you've recovered, take action immediately. Six paths Obito urge, time is running out and every minute and every second counts. Kamui. As the boy Obito drank, his eyes glowed with a strange light, and the barriers of space began to twist, like ripples on the water, and a portal to the unknown quietly opened. This is it. Through the shimmering space passage, Otsutsuki Kegaya's stunned eyes were clearly visible, as if a bridge connected the two worlds. Go. Naruto took the lead and jumped into the gap, heading straight for Kegaya. The rest of the people followed closely, passing through the shackles of gravity and stepping into Kegaya's mysterious and unpredictable space. Did they arrive so soon? Kegaya frowned slightly, seeming to be quite surprised by their speed. However, in this short period of time, her wounds have healed and Chakra has mostly recovered, demonstrating her amazing resilience. Before everyone could stand still, Otsutsuki Kegaya raised her hand and launched three consecutive 80 god air strikes like thunder, sweeping toward them with an aura of destruction. Boom boom boom. In the void, countless giant fists roared towards him, with terrifying momentum. Ha ha, look at me. The boy Obito stepped forward, excited and exuding an eye-catching aura. In an instant, a tall, mighty and fully armed Suzano stood in front of everyone, as indestructible as a patron saint. Then, a shield as red as blood suddenly appeared in his light blue Suzano hand, which was extremely eye-catching. This is the artifact that Uchiha Itachi lent to him before leaving, the Yata Mirror. I'll stop it. The boy Obito is full of confidence, and the Yata Mirror turns into a huge barrier, tightly surrounding all his companions. However, the moment the powerful force of Yasogami's air strike collided with the Yata Mirror, the smile on the boy Obito's face froze. Unconcealable shock and pressure crept onto his face. Wow. This is too much consumption. His eyes widened, and he almost used all his strength to maintain the stability of the shield. Boom boom boom. The shock wave of the giant fist was like a roaring wave, deafening, and the earth shook. The boy Obito's chakra dropped sharply at a speed visible to the naked eye, and the power Naruto had just provided was also quickly exhausted. Finally, as the power of the last Yasogami air attack was exhausted, the gradually dimming Suzano also dissipated, and the young Obito fell from the sky like a kite with a broken string. Obito. At the critical moment, Kakashi's sharp eyesight and quick hands caught him steadily. I. Really can't do it anymore. It's up to you what happens next. Obito stuck out his tongue, looking exhausted. Idiot. Six paths Obito glanced at him lightly, but his tone was mixed with imperceptible concern, and walked past them. Hey. I saved you, and you still scolded me. The boy Obito stared angrily, obviously dissatisfied with Six paths Obito's attitude. Being strong must be tempered. Six paths Obito left these words behind and continued to move forward without stopping. I have a plan. Six paths Obito glanced at Nazu and Zuo and said. Naruto and Sasuke exchanged a look, and moved closer to each other without saying anything. The three figures formed a tight circle, discussing in soft voices. After a while, I think it's feasible. Naruto's eyes flashed with excitement. Although Sasuke remained silent, his gentle nod was more convincing than any words. Then just follow the plan. Without Heiju's help, she doesn't have much practical experience. Six paths Obito's gaze crossed the crowd and landed gently on the lonely figure in the distance Otsutsuki Kegaya. An indifferent smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, a kind of confident calmness. Sora has shocking power, but is unable to realize its true potential due to lack of experience. This is Kegaya's current embarrassing situation. Multiple shadow clone techniques. As Naruto quickly formed seals with his hands, a powerful chakra wave suddenly emerged. The ground trembled, and wisps of white smoke shot out from all directions as if they were given life. 
In an instant, thousands of Naruto's clones stood on the battlefield, forming a huge and shocking lineup. Superior. Naruto shouted loudly, like a war drum beating, and all the clones, including the body hidden in them, swept towards Otsutsuki Kegai like a tide, and the scene was spectacular. Facing a forest of enemies, Kegaya frowned slightly, and his white eyes scanned among the many individuals, trying to find where his true body was, but found that he could not tell. I can't even tell whether it's true or false. In desperation, she raised her slender hands lightly and used the 80-god air strike that destroyed the heaven and earth again. Since it is difficult to distinguish between true and false, simply destroy them all. Boom boom boom. Dense explosions reverberated in the air, and the clones shattered like bubbles. However, more clones came one after another, coming continuously like waves, causing Kegaya to fall into an unprecedented hard battle, which was somewhat overwhelming. At this time, six paths Obito suddenly rose into the sky. The Tianum spear in his hand quickly degenerated and turned into nine truth-seeking balls again, floating quietly in the void. The recovery ability of the body of six paths was beyond imagination. In just a moment, he had combat power that could shake the world. Seeing Six Paths Obito approaching, Kegaya did not hesitate and immediately used two ash bones to kill each other, which cut through the air like a declaration of death. However, without the absolute control of gravity space, these straight line attacks pale in comparison to Six Paths Obito. He easily dodged it and failed to kill all the ashes. Even if it was powerful, it would be in vain if it failed to hit the target. Six Paths Obito naturally would not sit still and wait for death. With a thought, two truth-seeking balls were like meteors, traveling through space quickly and hitting Kegaya instantly. This kind of attack, which for ordinary people would cause immediate injury and death upon contact, only caused a slight push on Kegaya, causing her to retreat slightly. But this sudden counterattack obviously aroused Kegaya's high vigilance. Even if she is overwhelmed by many clones, she must allocate some of her energy to launch an offensive against Six Paths Obito continuously. Obito also continued to fight back, using truth-seeking ball to interfere, but did not step forward, just hanging from a distance. As the two of them were pulling each other back and forth, Kegaya realized that Obito's attack had no effect on her at all. Just like a mosquito, it doesn't hurt, but it's just disgusting. Seeing the Naruto's approaching, she immediately switched her firepower, making sure to get rid of this annoying Obito first. Yashigami Air Strike. Otsutsuki Kegaya's voice was as cold as the cold wind. The palm that condensed the ultimate power cut through the void and rushed straight towards Obito, carrying the aura of destroying everything. Obito's reaction was equally quick, almost in the blink of an eye, he mobilized seven truth-seeking balls to form an indestructible shield in front of him. At the same time, a provocative smile appeared on his lips, and he threw the two remaining precious truth-seeking balls at Kegai like a final bet. Hmm. This might be a great opportunity. A flash of surprise flashed in Kegai's heart. There was no movement in her eyes regarding the two truth-seeking balls that came at them. To her, they were nothing but trivial disturbances. She keenly captured the opportunity of this moment. All of Obito's truth-seeking balls had been thrown into the battle. This was a unique opportunity to eliminate him in one fell swoop. So, Wangquan Hirasaka launched. The door to space quietly opened under her will, and a deep space passage silently extended to Obito's back. Immediately afterwards, an ashes exuding the aura of death, like a sharp arrow traveling through time and space, instantly passed through the space tunnel and arrived behind Obito accurately. This is a one-hit kill skill. If Obito hadn't been alerted by the truth-seeking ball behind him, this move would have swallowed up the enemy long ago. But now, Obito's truth-seeking ball has come in handy, and this is the best moment to execute this fatal blow. Kegaya concentrated and held her breath, and the ashes of the killer roared in, penetrating Obito's body accurately. Hit. The joy of victory was fleeting on Kegaya's face, and she thought she had finally eliminated the most difficult person in this battle. However, at this moment, Obito, who was hit by the ashes of a common killer, exploded. Clone. How could it be a clone? Doubt and shock flashed across Kegaya's brows. She couldn't understand why the other party was just using the truth-seeking ball flexibly, so why was it just a bait? 
Before I could think deeply, the two truth-seeking balls previously thrown by Obito suddenly changed. One of them suddenly turned into Naruto, grinning widely, to Kagaya's shock. The other one, under Sasuke's skillful operation using the power of the Heavenly Hand, completed its position replacement in an instant. In an instant, Naruto and Sasuke appeared on both sides of Kagaya again, forming a pincer attack. Six paths planetary devastation. The two shouted in unison, each inspired the power of six paths, and jointly performed the sealing technique that ended everything. This time, the light of the seal is more dazzling than ever before. No. Kagaya roared in despair and anger. Although she struggled hard, the overwhelming power of the seal bound her tightly like a giant net. The tailed beasts in her body felt the crisis, struggled uncontrollably, and finally broke free one by one and regained their freedom, leaving only the empty shell of ten tails wailing in the void. Then, a small figure also fell down with the tailed beast, it was Uchiha Madara who was the container. It worked. We did it. Sasuke. Naruto looked at the freed tailed beasts and Kagaya who was being permanently sealed, and his excitement was beyond words. Sasuke nodded calmly. Although his expression was calm, there was a hint of unnoticeable joy deep in his eyes. At this time, six paths Obito slowly floated over, looking at Kagaya deeply, as if he was inspecting his masterpiece. Obito, your plan is so perfect. Naruto praised. Obito shook his head gently. There are no clever tactics, it's just that the opponent was too careless. In fact, Obito's strategy was simple and direct, taking full advantage of Naruto's ability to create a massive number of clones. He first disguised himself as Naruto and mingled among many clones, and then transformed from one clone into himself to attract Kagaya's attention. At the same time, he secretly controlled the truth-seeking ball, making Kagaya mistakenly think that the clone was the real one. Obito. At the same time, Naruto was hiding in the truth-seeking ball, waiting for the opportunity to approach Kagaya. The key lies in the cleverly designed trap. They deliberately let Kagaya find a flaw, and as expected, Kagaya really fell into the trap. Everything is over. Obito stared at Kagaya who was gradually being sealed. At this moment, with Kagaya as the center, it seemed as if the entire world was enveloped by an irresistible suction. Deep ravines opened in the ground, and countless gravel was pulled off the ground, rushing towards Kagaya as if surrendering. The samsara Sharingan on her forehead lost its luster and slowly closed, making her whole person look extremely gloomy. Once again, sealed. I'm so unwilling. Why do you treat me like this? She murmured in a low voice, tears falling down her face. Finally, she slowly closed her eyes and accepted this fateful ending. Kona has 60 years. Shinomiya Yuyu flipped through the page of the gold coin mall with familiarity, a smile on her face, and joked. It seems like Obito and the others have already taken action. Gold coins are pouring in like spring water. Ten birds in the forest are worth less than one in the hand. Of course, if you have money, you must spend it as soon as possible. Uchiha Itachi is making improvements in a big way, and has successfully reversed the tragedy of the Uchiha clan's annihilation. The trajectory of its destiny has been greatly changed, and the gold coin rewards that come with it are naturally generous. As for Six Paths Obito, although the story is coming to an end, after going through some twists and turns, the rewards are still quite fruitful. Plus the two Obitos are now jumping up and down at Six Paths Madara, which is another bonus. The three aspects combined brought a huge profit of 330,000 gold coins to Yu Yu. Counting the previous savings of 100,000, it now exceeds 400,000 gold coins. Just a sage mode, isn't it easy to get everything at your fingertips? Sage mode. Price, 150,000 gold coins, 120,000 gold coins after 20% discount. After purchasing sage mode, you will be able to quickly enter the sage state in any place containing natural energy, comprehensively improve your abilities, covering various fields such as ninjutsu, taijutsu, genjutsu, etc., and you can also master the powerful sage jutsu. Buy it. Shinomiya Yuyu waved her hand bravely and decisively placed the order. Purchase successful. Current gold coin balance, 310,000. The moment she bought sage mode, Yuyu felt that her mind suddenly became chaotic, her body seemed to be suspended in the vast universe, and she felt a sense of weightlessness. 
A wonderful feeling filled my whole body. After a long time, Shinigong Yuyu slowly opened her eyes, her gaze became as deep as an ancient pond without waves, and her temperament changed drastically. He seems to be independent from the world and above all things. The ubiquitous natural energy around him spontaneously converges on him. This unconscious change all indicates Yuyu's amazing natural affinity. Without any seals, Yuyu enters sage mode instantly with a thought. Symmetrical black eye shadow appears on both sides of his cheeks. This is not the sage mode from the three holy lands. This is sage mode that is turned on purely by natural affinity, without any flaws. In addition to the overall improvement in strength, Yuyu's perception has also been greatly enhanced. With his huge amount of chakra, he can sense the familiar atmosphere throughout Konoha. He's so handsome. As soon as Yuyu opened her mouth, the aloof image she had just established was instantly shattered and she became down to earth. But I really can't blame him, the sage mode experience is so wonderful. It's simply the gate of opening for Crispy Corner. How wonderful. Yuzuki can also incorporate sage jutsu chakra into ninjutsu to release even more powerful sage jutsu. Well, in this way, I'm almost close to Hashirama's level, right? Yuyu clenched her fists and nodded with satisfaction. Today, Yuyu has a fairy body, wood style, and sage mode, and is only one Asura chakra away from the complete Hashirama. However, that power is not exclusive to Hashirama. It is not necessary for him. If you buy it, it may not be of much use. It is better to invest elsewhere. For example, dust style. In the ninja world, the blood successor with absolute dominance in attack power is eliminated. This ability is so ridiculously strong that anything it encounters, whether it is an object or a living person, can be transformed into the tiniest atoms in the blink of an eye. To be honest, there is no way to avoid it if you are either injured or killed. Let me know your price, Kang Kang. Shinomiya Yuyu couldn't hide her excitement. She flipped through the pages of the mall and the word, dust style, came into view instantly. Blood successor elimination, dust style. Price. 300,000 gold coins, 20% off, 240,000. Ah, 300,000. After discount, it's still 240,000. Isn't it a bit expensive? Yu Yu was stunned, this thing is actually the same price as Obito's Mangekio. This is too exaggerated. Obito is a high-end space product, so it makes sense to be more expensive, but this dust style feels. It has strong attack power, but apart from attack power, it seems to have no other advantages. Hey, Lao Ma, did you put an extra zero on your price tag? I don't think dust style is worth the sky-high price. Yu Yu knocked on the table, frowned, and shook her head at the virtual mall. Bite. Group owner reports bug, chat group self-test starts. Self-check completed, everything is normal. Feedback on. Dust style is too expensive, the chat group determined it to be correct. Dust style has great potential and great development value, and the price is reasonable. After reading the system's reply, Yu Yu touched her chin, thoughtfully. I see. Okay, then take it. Trust me, you won't go wrong. Yu Yu has made up her mind, and her wallet is bulging anyway. Ding, purchase successful. Current gold coin balance, 70,000. After buying Dust Style, Yu Yu didn't see any big changes in her appearance, but her whole person gave off an unfathomable aura. Dust Style, that is the ultimate fusion of the three chakra properties of wind, fire and earth, the best among the blood successors. Once you master it, Yu Yu's understanding of the three attributes of wind, fire, and earth soars to the top. It is an invisible benefit, and various escape techniques are at your fingertips. According to the old rules, you must first gain full proficiency. Spending 10,000 gold coins, dust style proficiency has been upgraded to, extraordinary and holy. A lot of techniques for using dust style instantly flooded into Yu Yu's mind. I seem to be able to use the dust style, limitation peeling technique. Yu Yu blinked. This move is an evolved version of the dust style original stripping technique. I think back then, Mr. Onoki also fought with Madara until the moment of life and death before he had an epiphany. He gathered the power of the five shadows and destroyed Madara's 25 Suzanos with one blow. So strong that it explodes. But Yu Yu can use it directly. But, Yu Yu's dust style seems a little different. What's going on? 
Yu Yu spread her hands, and a transparent white light floated up, gradually condensing into the form of a lightsaber. Can you still play like this? Yu Yu looked surprised, and with a few random swings, the lightsaber condensed by dust style was as stable as a rock, just like a real sword. Try the effect. As Yu Yu lowered her hand, the dust style lightsaber slashed towards the table. The table instantly split into two, and the section was as smooth as a mirror. This is not simply cutting off, but subtly reducing the mass on both sides of the table edge cutout. Even if we try hard to put the table back together now, it cannot be restored to its former integrity. But this is nothing to Yu Yu. He waved his hand casually, and trees quickly grew on the ground. They seemed to have become conscious. They gently picked up the scattered table pieces and put them back together seamlessly, leaving no trace of the fragmentation it had experienced. Afterwards, Yu Yu tried her best to transform into various forms, from radiant halo to solemn bells and tripods to towering towers. Then to the sharp traditional swords, guns, axes and axes, all of them can be changed freely. Yuzuki even incorporated sage jutsu chakra into it. When dust style and sage jutsu are intertwined, its power suddenly soars to a terrifying new level. Yu Yu looked at the dust style in her hand with satisfaction, and a smile appeared on her lips. It's really interesting. Lao Ma really has a unique vision. The potential of dust style should not be underestimated. It's money well spent. With a wave of his hand, dust style disappeared. Yu Yu was about to go out for a walk, but with Sage Mode's keen perception, she captured an abnormal fluctuation of life deep underground, traveling at an alarming speed. As the masked man Jin Jin coming to visit again, Yu Yu was stunned for a moment. But then he shook his head. The opponent's hidden position was too deep, and it would be difficult to detect it without Sage Mode. Moreover, the masked man has the power of virtualization, so there is no need to hide like this. That can only be him. Yu Yu said firmly. Black Jew. There is no one else but that guy's mayfly technique who can travel freely in this deep underground. Tisk. Konoha's protective barriers are just for bluffing ordinary ninjas. Those with a little bit of special abilities can easily bypass this barrier. But Black Zetsu's frequent visits to Konoha are ultimately not a solution. After all, this is also my territory. How can I allow others to come and go at will? That's outrageous. Don't think that his words about protecting my Konoha were just casual words. Yu Yu pondered for a moment, thinking about how to capture this slippery Heiju. Conventional methods are obviously ineffective. Sealing techniques may be feasible, but it is still difficult to catch him. There seems to be no good strategy. Just when I was thinking hard, inspiration struck my mind like lightning. Hey. Yes. A sly smile broke out on Shinomiya Yuyu's face. After a few days of silence, Konoha's Idea King is back again. Konoha Village Year 67, Six Paths Madara's Timeline. Take Madara, let's go out. Obito glanced at Kegaya for the last time and was about to turn around and leave. Unexpectedly, he was stunned when Yu Yu directly at him in the group chat. Huh, what does the group leader want from me now? Although Obito was confused, he still clicked on the group chat interface. Six paths Obito, what do you want from me? Shinomiya Yu Yu, what's going on with you guys? I suddenly came up with an interesting idea. Don't rush to seal Kegaya now, leave it to me to play with. Six paths Obito. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Shinomiya Yuyu. Huh. Have you already done it? Six paths Obito. Please watch the VCR. Video. MP4. Obito sent a live video of Otsutsuki Kegaya being sealed. Shinomiya Yuyu. Why so fast? Wait. I'll be right over. As soon as Obito finished reading the message, a familiar portal suddenly appeared. Immediately afterwards, a figure slowly stepped out. It was Shinomiya Yuyu. Huh. So fast. Six paths Obito narrowed his eyes slightly and looked at the other party carefully. Is this the group leader? So young, it can even be said to be immature. This is very different from the image of a strong man in his mind, but six paths Obito does not dare to underestimate the other party because of this. According to the ability of the chat group, the group leader can connect different timelines, and his mastery of time and space is obviously beyond ordinary people. Not to mention the dazzling array of products in the Gold Coin Mall, including all kinds of rare treasures, even Ten Tails can see them. 
It is conservatively estimated that the strength of this group leader is at least several times that of ten tails. Otherwise, how could he collect so many ten tails to sell? Where are the people? After Shinomiya Yuyu appeared, she looked left and right, and finally her eyes were fixed on the planetary devastation that was about to take shape on the horizon. Group leader, you are late. Six paths planetary devastation has been started and cannot be stopped. Six paths Obito said. Although it is not clear what the purpose of the group leader is, if it is for Kegaya, then it is indeed the wrong time. However, Shinomiya Yuyu smiled softly, who said it can't be interrupted. Quote dot dot dot. To stop Six Paths planetary devastation, we have to shoot it down directly from the front, but is this possible? A trace of doubt flashed in Six Paths Obito's eyes. He cast his gaze towards the sky. The size of the planetary devastation had become extremely astonishing, almost comparable to a huge meteorite. How can it be destroyed by human power alone? To have such destructive power is probably beyond the reach of humans. Does the group leader have the power to shake the world? This sounds too exaggerated, but the other party is the group leader after all. He puts aside his doubts for the time being, maybe he really has this ability. At this time, a cry of surprise came. Yu Yu. The boy Obito limped over with Kakashi's support, his face full of excitement. Why are you here? Let me see Kegaya, and why are you so weak? Shinomiya Yuzuki's face was full of surprise. The boy Obito in front of him looked like a weak man who had not recovered from a long illness. Hey, don't mention it. I played with the Yata mirror. After all, it's not my own ability. Plus, the attacks I withstood were too strong, so it became like this. Come on, Kakashi, let me introduce you. This is Shinomiya Yuzuki, my best friend. The boy Obito introduced happily. Kakashi smiled politely. I'm Hitaki Kakashi, hello. His eyes were imperceptibly studying Yuzuki, Obito's best friend. How come he has no memory? Searching all his memories, he couldn't find any relevant information. And, he thought he would be Obito's best friend, but he was an unknown person. However, judging from the way he appears, he might be someone from other time and space. Maybe he is a friend Obito has made elsewhere. Okay, let's not talk about this for now. If we continue talking about Kegaya, we will really have no choice. Shinomiya Yuyu glanced at the planetary devastation that was gradually taking shape, with a smile on her lips. Well, Yuyu, you go about your business first. The boy Obito nodded to express his understanding. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.